everybody. I want to thank you for tuning in to this week's episode of Hostially Awkward. If this is your first time joining us, I would like to properly introduce myself. I'm your host and favorite motivational speaker, Mimi. Mimi Sub 100 or Cummer Walker if you're nasty. Yeah, and speaking of Cummer Walker, she has, um, you know, she, she's been going through a lot, but she has returned. Uh, I went and actually filmed a lot of content last night. So make sure uh, you stay tuned because I have to edit that footage and get it posted. But I am joined by my co-host. We got the narcissist, Pie Guy Wan, a.k.a. Mr. Fuck Nigga Hairdo. Yeah, it is what it is, man. Just, just accept it. it. Just accept it. Um, and, you know, as much as he tries to dispute being a narcissist, like, as we were walking up, there was this new security guard that we did not I, No, like, look, fam. That we did not recognize, and he was like, "Hey, did we, we not they, recognize, or did he not recognize?" That's the question. It was both. I've never seen him before. I don't know, fuck. I ain't never seen him. He should have saw me, man. But um, and he was like, "Uh, oh, you know, they closed. They closed. You know, I had a quick flex. I was like, oh, no, I got a, I got a five. I, I do this shit, nigga. I record in here." He's like, "Oh yeah, y'all have a good night." Um, I wasn't listening but, to the nigga. But, but Wine was really That's just like proving her point. Yeah, so, well, <laughs> at this point, so what? Yeah, but right. So it was, you know, Juan had to like, how dare this nigga not know that? You know, you I'm the pot guy. Back, bro? Huh? Did you flick your braids? Nah, I didn't. I like, bro, I legitimately didn't think he was speaking to me. Yeah, and temporarily, uh, we have our engineer, uh, the classic man, Mr. Tone Deaf, is in the building. He's just here to get us situated with all of uh, my visual aids, and then he is out for the night. Sell some drugs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, he got he got to go. Uh, or sell his body. Actually, know. I gotta go be a dad. Tom, Tom used to be a hoe back in the day. Something I'm like, <laughs> I was, see, I'm glad I stopped because I was gonna say actually something I'm proud of, but that wouldn't. Right, it'll flow right into no, it. No, that's why I had to stop you. <laughs> I mean, you know, ho dads can be hoes. They can. Hoes can be dads. You could be a good dad and still be a, a great hoe. Yeah. That just right. that's when you're a real nigga for real. Shut up. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, look, you got to respect the nigga who's still on this square, but just fucking all the bitches. Don't they make movies about niggas like that? Yeah, but they, don't, Anthony Mackie, but, one of but they never make the movie where he's the good guy in all of this. No, no, no. Tyler Perry never they made never make those movies, movies where he's the good the, guy. You ever noticed that, though? For real? Like, when you watch the movie about the guy who just be fucking all the hoes, it's never the hoes fuck. It's always him. I'm like, come on, bro. All these bitches, and it ain't none of these hoes really crazy. This is all his fault. Oh, they crazy, but That'd be the trippy. narrative is he made them crazy. When you when we we gotta put we gotta make a movie, Tom. When we start our two B takeover, we writing a movie where he gonna fuck all the hoes and it's all the hoes fault. Y'all gotta watch the two B movie today. That was so bad. The audio was bad, the concept was bad. The you okay? Bad. You good? Thinking about Bay that's not Bay that's really her husband. Damn, like you drifted off in a trance. And that's exactly what it was. I'm like, damn. That's why at, she got mad at me. At some point, I'm like, am I feeling time? <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, I'm sorry, y'all. I was I was in the middle of creating the like, post like, for tonight. Like dickmatism. <laughs> I was thinking about the post. But no, uh, I was in the middle of creating like a post, but then a comment popped up. And I was trying to explain, like, come on now. A lot of us like that. Ooh, move your hand. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, but whatever. Stay um, off of Facebook while the show is on. Because you are like a dog I, chasing I squirt. tell y'all all the time that I am like a fucking cat with the laser pointer. Like, I get distracted and get See, to chase that's why shit. I asked you, was it Dre? No, but that wasn't who we bumped into wasn't Dre. Okay, I'm just asking. It was, there was just that many niggas here you needed some drinking help. beer. Wearing green, beer. and then your boy Junior. Oh, you know, I forgot. Your boy, your boy Junior, just says, "Oh, it's a party going on, right?" Open up, bro. Throw me a party. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And I don't follow this nigga on Facebook or nothing, but when he say I'm throwing a party, everybody here. But it was funny because was he slinging barbecue? Of course he was. But it got um, it got the building people got caught, so they came up here. And he was like, "Yo, bro." You gotta chill. They scheduled this. We know about this. You, you just doing shit. You can't just be doing. You shit. can't just open. <laughs> just can't open because you gotta have security whenever you open anything that requires people to come in. 
after so, business hours. Right. Oh. And you gotta pay for security. Oh no. So he was like, I got bar, he was like, I got this. The bar paid for two niggas to be here. You didn't pay for two niggas to be here. Got it right off right off their back. <laughs> Like you already got security. So, right. That's wild. And so you it's mind one if I thing. Open them for a few hours. You know what I'm saying? It's, it, it's, it's small. Cool. It's cool if you open your door. So hey, y'all get hungry. No. Nah. Come on down. Hold my no. own party. He says, "Hey, let's open the door. Hey, bring your niggas. Come on, let's all party on me." Like, yeah. <laughs> Hey, man, it's, St. it's St. Patrick's Day. You can't do that, dog. Don't tell him he and, can't do that. And this, and this, because he, he did, because he did. <laughs> and they say close that door. They come inside your area. That's it. They can't come inside Sherman Phoenix. <laughs> he gonna do the ill part is he's gonna do it again. Of course, he is. <laughs> that's the ill part. Like, bro, don't learn his lesson. He's like, he's just like a Batman villain, bro. He is. He is. An old nigga. Because old niggas do whatever the fuck they want. That nigga said. Regardless. Like, we have old niggas that call the job, right? They want to check on their money. They want to see what their bank account look like, even if it's 13 cents. And you tell them, we need A, B, C, D for you to give you the information. They don't give a fuck. Hey, man, can you just go ahead and tell me this? Like, bro, you got a password. I ain't got no goddamn password. Sir, you got a password on your account. And you know what? You talk to me all the time, and I know you got a password, and I know you know the password because it's a word you always fucking say. I ain't got no password on my account. Nigga, you drunk. Who, me? I'm talking about this. I'll be talking to my customers. You can't say, nigga, you drunk. Hell, I do. Because you want to know why? Because they call you. You want to know that big booty and dick I really don't because I'm drunk. You should be there. You th- no, you're not though. Me and Tobin, because you out here in the Lulu land and shit. I'm not. No, um, you are. No, okay. that is not true. No, um, because like, uh, so I'm know. live now, so I can talk about it now. So I shared a video of a man with um, he got that hang dang on him, and he is able to pound pussy in multiple positions. If you don't like that, that is on you. Some of us bitches like that, Wait, okay? What? We like that. Hey, so, man, so no. So here's my thing: if you got a if you got a sensitive pussy that can't take dick, that is that is you. That is perfectly fine. That is no. That that is perfectly fine. But you bitches is not go shame us because we like to get a little rough sometimes, okay? I'm 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 not gonna be like, damn man. You know what? I, I just want you to you know just just slow stroking and only give me two inches so that I can feel more feminine as a woman. Fuck you and fuck that. If I'm gonna take dick how I want to take dick, and y'all take dick how y'all want to take dick, and that's just the fucking end of how we go take dick around this motherfucker. Why are you looking like that? I'm hitting you with the white man face when you don't know what to say. So I'm gonna go slow the transition. You know, there's an episode of 911 this week that actually kind of has something like that, where a dude and a girl was finally getting it in in the swimming pool, and fam decided to go get the honey pack pill combination. That his shit swelled up so much that it got stuck in her. It was in the episode. It was hot tub fucking. Right. So people are like, well, that that's not uh that's not pleasurable. It might not be pleasurable for you. For Every, you. Everybody's different. For you, there are some people who like to get their ass beat like motherfucking slaves during the session. I told y'all a couple of weeks ago when we went to the sex dungeon, it was a bitch getting in there beat for like two hours, getting smacked on the ass with paddles for two hours straight. I don't like to be hit at all, but guess what? That was pleasurable to her. Yep, I can't go. I, what the fuck was I supposed to do? Open the curtain and say, hey, bitch, you ain't supposed to like that because sex ain't supposed to hurt. No, that ain't my motherfucking preference. Two hours of just getting like flailed. How, how the wild. fuck you going to tell me what my preference is supposed to be when I'm fucking? Two hours if you don't want shit to hurt, then don't do shit to hurt. That's like me. I have a, spe- I have a specific pain tolerance. Now, if you were pushing my cervix back, 
that I can take. I am equipped for that. But if you like, I don't like to be bit. I don't like to be pinched. And I don't like motherfuckers hitting me too hard. Maybe it's tri- childhood trauma because, you know, I used to actually get my ass whooped. And you know how big granny hands was? That's Maybe that's why I don't like niggas hitting me on the ass like that. Plus, I don't got all of that to whoa, be able to whoa, absorb whoa. it. So it's whoa. different. Wait, can we stop? Nikki, I didn't know you was into that kind of shit. You like being beat? That is a wild girl. Who? <laughs> Now, if, if, if Who's y'all, into biting bitches, though? If, if, Who out here no, doing a that? A lot of people are into biting. A lot no, of people wild. are into biting. Don't, like don't you, bite me. Like, no, some people like bite, bite, but yeah. I'm like a little nipple. A little I'm nipple fine. is cool. But, but bro, yeah. But no, there's See, some Nick, people into, like biting. Yeah, some into, people into biting. Some people like teeth marks. Okay. It didn't come out of nowhere. Okay, so what? <laughs> so what happened is, if you if you go on my very last Facebook post, I shared a video of a nigga biting somebody? of a nigga engaged in intercourse, you know, and he is doing, you know, some non traditional positions, and you know, knocking some shit ooh, down. Ooh. So they're like, well, it don't look pleasurable. She don't look like she enjoying herself. I'm like, bro, she is literally watching the back of her motherfucking brain because her eyes is back here. And she's holding her leg up for him. You can't tell me that she's not fucking enjoying herself. She's not trying to get what she's she's holding her fucking leg up for him to get back in there. So for me to have a motherfucking tell. So says sex is supposed to be pleasurable. You got to have a big vagina to let a man with a big penis pound on you. Or your pleasure is pain. All I want during sex is to be pleased. All that take dick every which way is dead. Yeah, for her. That is why we have different kinks and different fetishes. There are people that love to get off on smearing shit across the wall. You won't see me fucking doing it, but that's how they get off. Again, you see people who are, they, they like to get smothered. They like to be suffocated. Choke. They like to be That's just. Bi- I'm claustrophobic. You can't fucking tie me up like no goddamn mummy. But some people get off on that shit. Sex is different for everybody. Mm. Everybody has their own little preferences. Everybody has what they like. If it's not for you, it's not fucking for you. But you ain't finna shame me and say, oh, you must have a, yeah, I do. I got a goddamn Teflon pussy. And this motherfucking mm-hmm. get pounded out and I will be okay. I will be fine. You can beat my pussy down all you want to, but don't be get to slapping like my ass and shit too hard. I don't like that. You can even slap me in the face. Some people don't like that. They don't. They don't like to be slapped in the face while they're <laughs> having sex. Hey, I get slapped in the you, face. I get my mouth spit in. I got my ass spit. I get. I do a lot of shit hey, that ain't for a lot of people, and that's okay because that's what, my pussy. When do you come back from Vegas? The, what? What? What day? That's not a Sunday, is it? What day is that? That's a that's, a, that's, that's a, a the Friday. following Thursday? Yeah. yeah. That's a Friday. F- for sure. No, 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 no. Oh, you talking about April? I'm talking about, I'm talking about, I am not talking to anybody until oh. the 20th, but I will be back on Thursday. Gotcha. Maybe. Yeah, for sure. Because, uh, so that means we, yeah, thank God, because whatever <laughs> you own right now, fam, I don't want none of that and next the week. The crazy part about it is it has nothing to do with us. The ride, it's like what? Somebody when? randomly online triggered her. And the comments been going crazy ever since. See, look, and, and that's probably a thing where niggas be disappointed because Rita said, as big as my boobs are, I don't like much boob play. Wow. But a nigga might see them be like, bro, I'm going to have a time with them big ass tits tags. And then they can't because she's not really into it. They think they finna they think they finna titty fuck, spit on the nipples and all this other kind of shit. That's just like dudes with anal. Because they assume because my ass is so big that I like anal, I'm like, slow down. Yeah. <laughs> like let's let's wait a moment. Let's let's get to Rita, that makes me sad on the inside. <laughs> <laughs> very sad. Like that very sad as as Dewan. That makes Dewan very sad. <laughs> I'm a little heartbroken. Even Brick confused. <laughs> yeah, I'm 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 heartbroken. Unbreak I look my at heart. I don't know why I'm so surprised, but I look at Nick so Say much you love me based again. off the comments from just this one rant. <laughs> you are a disgusting, filthy little girl. Wait, no, what, I appreciate what her with the choke me. What is Nick into? Everything apparently. Oh, but that's Nikki though. That's what I'm saying. Like after she told after she told the story about you know the Yamin and the Yamin. You yeah, know, I can't put nothing. Happened. I'm not putting nothing past Miss Walker. That was ten years ago. And look how young we was, and she was. In, and when you on that type of time, and we that young, you can only elevate. 
You cannot regress. You can. It's like a Pokemon. That's trauma elevation. I'm not mad at it. But when he was, <laughs> he's so shocked that she into all this shit. And I'm like, when you on like expert level and you just now in the game. It's one of those. Like, you, you can only go up. It's like a Pokemon. You never seen a Pokemon devolve. <laughs> and they won't evolve Pikachu. I was so fucked up, man. Because he makes money for them. No, you know what's crazy? Like there's, I just there's a devolved version. Of no, them. no. So literally, just like within the last two weeks or so, I just found out that there is a higher Pikachu. I never knew that. You shit. never knew there was a Raichu? Yeah, it's Raichu. It's a fat I, ass Pikachu. Bro, I never knew. And I think he's like reddish orange. Yeah, he yeah, looks I never like a cat that eat too damn much. I was like, so Garfield. So basically, yeah, if, if you gave him fat <laughs> lazy nigga you, su- Nikki? <laughs> super <said> power. <laughs> no, but um, <laughs> I will not call you Squirtle. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> she wanna be <laughs> the very but best. But I will not call you Squirtle. I love to it. no right. one so, ever was. Like and like right, Britt said, Britt exactly. said the shit I'm down for really the depends best. on the partner I'm with. And then Absolutely. it's like just because I may like shit rough doesn't mean that it has to be like that. Oh, uh, you like fucking rough time. night? Ain't that what they used to call them back in like like our mama's you days, know, roughneck? So okay, one sorry. of our songs, like <laughs> oh my bad, I <laughs> forgot. That was definitely in the nineties. No, so, no, <laughs> Ad- 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 Adina Howard. <laughs> Serena he- wanted a roughneck. <laughs> so, hey, that was in the nineties. So so, so Bay, that's, Bay, that's not bad. As much as he know, I love this. Like now I gotta look. Up we have a playlist and shit. So sometimes, like when we write, like he'll play shit that he knows. Like I listen, I like one, I really two, like. Two. So he will you play Adina Howard, freak like me. And he that's never, a jam though. But he yeah. never heard the real version. So and t- it, it wasn't until a couple Ooh, of years ago he never knew that she said, "I need a roughneck nigga <laughs> that can satisfy." That can satisfy. Yeah. He never knew she said a roughneck nigga. Right. The radio. What the fuck was he listening to? Right. How he never knew Adina Howard she was wasn't saying nigga. Oh. When he thought it was, I was roughneck? like, bro. So. He thought that she was Man, like, Remy, your ring got 16 motherfuckers watching. We just started. <laughs> Everybody was on time today. Well, Roughneck by FCLA came what, out of 93. I will in said I will in said rant. I will in said rant with this declaration in fact. If my pussy is big, it don't matter because it's fucking hidden. So. What the hell? I don't, how did we get here? I have no words. What is how the answer? Did Nah, but um, Britt said, um, I love to fuck around and find out depending on what type of time I'm on. Yeah, like, like I said, like work. you. 93. <laughs> That's what baby asked. 93, 93 was, was a wild, wild. year. <laughs> we was calling people gangster bitches and roughnecks. Yeah, like, I, I don't want to be stuck I was having sex with somebody because <laughs> I am always limited to me. these <laughs> positions because they don't have the range to do anything else. <laughs> Damn, maybe it's our motherfucking anniversary, and I'm like, you know what? I want you to clap my shit while my arm is, you know, like maybe I want some extravagant shit because it's it's a special day. It's my birthday, and I want to get flipped inside the not having Mm -hmm. dick range is crazy. It is when you say that shit out loud. But that's what you mean. What you mean? You can't shoot from the top of the key. But that's the thing. People. How it started was That's why. How it started was I shared Nasty the post. Business. Well, you gotta look at like what she on. got, dog. She can't take a regular nigga can't just right. That's exactly. facts though. He definitely gotta shoot from he fifty gotta, feet. He gotta, shoot. He gotta, he gotta shoot from deep, real deep. Right. His three point range has to average at has least sixty seven percent. You need Steph Curry. I do. Yeah, I feel but you know, I mean, he. That's you can only move kids. the ass up so much right. before it starts hurting her. And exactly. Now it's. Going I don't. To I don't even. I don't even feel like. Basketball you can't is, do it, just I don't even it. feel like basketball is the right analogy here. I feel like football. we need to be talking football and some quarterback shit because that motherfucker got to go down the field. I need a Hail Mary pass. That's <laughs> crazy to say to me. <laughs> what are you talking to? <laughs> oh, this is nasty. <laughs> like I said, I need a Hail the views and so opinions of hopefully awkward as a wild ass. Uh, Dino said, my bad, I'm back. What are we talking about? So, Dino, too late lo- now, Dino. Long, right. long story short, I shared a post of um some people having intercourse <laughs> and <laughs> I was seeing how Inter- I I shared a post saying how uh, showing you know two people having intercourse and you know he was clapping that thing from some some very non traditional angles. So when I shared the post, I said, and dudes get upset when we say that we want dudes with longer dick 
because we want to be able to have that variety of you know positions like we like the range it has nothing to do with as soon as a motherfucker get mad they be oh man you just got deep this pussy you just your pussy big blah 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 blah. like first of all you ignorant as fuck bitch i've had two babies i've had two i've had two two babies and guess what (laughs) motherfuckers can still tap the bottom of this bitch so i don't know what the fuck y'all thought but this ain't that but anyway um so to basically shame bitches who love to have a nigga who was able to touch the fucking bottom and helicopter. Why niggas? And what's what? If, why? If, if if you if look if you want a motherfucker to just stir the top a little bit, then that that's all good. I want a motherfucker scraping the bottom of my pot sometimes. All right. Why niggas get be to hate? the bottom with the gravy, bitch? Why niggas be hate? This is hate. Will you not mind your business? That's hate. Like it's not even that. Like it's it's not a thing like of minding your business. It is when you have your personal preference and you feel like, oh well, that ain't my preference. Oh well, your pussy bitch. Right. So you're not basically shaming somebody. You're not minding your bit. Like when you focus on another nigga's preference or how how a woman likes her fucking preference of penis size, and, and if you can't do the job, bro, why you applying? You're not minding your business. That's hate. Focus on the bitches. All you gotta do is like, you know what? Focus on the bitches that like your mid range. That ain't the job mind. for me. Right. So you know, I'm not gonna put if, my bed if, in. If, if I can only mind. shoot ten feet from the basket, I need bitches who like it ten feet from the basket. Exactly. Yeah. Stop trying to fuck. If you can't shoot threes, stop fucking with hoes who require threes. And and that's the thing. And then blaming them when your shots suck. Like, bro, right. you, what you, it, you can't what shoot. It, what it is is you have motherfuckers who can't shoot threes. So instead of going to find somebody else, what they are going to do is try to shame the bitches who want you to shoot a three, trying to get them to settle for layups. Mm-hmm. Bitch, fuck you. No. No. Because that's not what I want. Ain't no D-League over here. That's what I'm saying. We don't want the D-League. And even if niggas watch real basketball, like, bro, they don't really lay up no more. They shoot fucking three. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah, it's 48 to, minutes of 50-foot shots. Right. <laughs> like... Fucking for real here, man. <laughs> hey, man. Literally, find you a chick that just like to get slam dunk, bro. It's okay. Mm-hmm. The slam dunk used to be the most exciting part of the game at one point in time. Right. But you right. know, I'm just saying, niggas, man. Learn, learn your life. Nick said that Dina was talking Staying about eating life. ass. Nope, I'm not doing it. Wait, who? Either. Wait, whoa, freak like me was talking about eating ass. <laughs> That's crazy. I'm gonna have to go. Did you agree? I just you didn't know that. No. Song, look, ninety three was a wild year. I just looked like up everything. Listen. I said I gotta look up the no year that these, these songs me, came freak out. Like me was about her eating some ass. <laughs> Bro said, ah, the Spider Man post. <laughs> Forty yard line, go deep. Mm-hmm. As you, bro said, big pussy be good. No, but they make they make it seem like <laughs> Yo, because because we <laughs> want. Again, and, and again, which is which is crazy to have the comments that I had because I literally fucking explained it in the goddamn caption. Wanting a guy with a bigger dick has nothing to do with feeling. I don't need a bigger dick because it's like, oh man, I can't, I can't feel it if it's not. No, it is because I want the fucking range. If I want to do the goddamn Booker T spin a Rooney on some dick, I don't want the bitch to fall <laughs> out. Goddamn, that, and that's annoying. Spinning too. on a dick is crazy. Like actually, like tucking your legs and <laughs> yeah, I bet like so. He'll, he'll Yo, can you grab me by my thighs and spin me around? So like, yeah. so like, so like my shit from, is like this, and then switch from cowgirl to face mm-hmm. Don't want to come out. You just yeah, you spin. Damn, that's all the time I've been doing it wrong. Yeah. Very much so. <laughs> we're like, we're I can, very much so. I can, so I can free, admit when I didn't know free, everything. Like, well, I, I don't know. I don't know. Because like when you have big and on big and I don't know how much y'all can spin. Y'all yeah. might have that's to. Like, also that's also true. That's also true. That's all. Because I because I because I wasn't even big at the time that I was dating bro, and his stomach was kind of like I used to use that to my advantage though when I was riding. I used to use his stomach as like a buoy to push me back. So that's like crazy. Bro. So it was George? like, le- so it was like fucking fat niggas. Is ha- I'll, I'll give them this. Fucking fat niggas seems to be half the work because if you let their stomach do the work for you, it kind of propels you forward. So you ain't gotta, you know, use as much energy. That is hilarious. Hey man, so sometimes you need the range and, and a tag team partner. <laughs> who don't who don't like a good assist? Yeah. 
Tag team back again. <laughs> that sounds like a wild night. Or do you like? Oh, see, Deb said it ain't gonna work yeah. with two fat people. It's gonna be too much friction. Yeah, I don't need no carpet burn, fam. None of that. Yeah, bro said can't go head to toes if you're lacking. And that's my entire point. It has nothing to do with, oh, I can only enjoy big dicks because I can't feel anything else because my pussy is just so large and so deep. No, motherfucker. It means that I want to be able to do something other than fucking missionary and back shots. And a lot of them times, them motherfuckers don't even be back shots. They be back beeps. Because y'all can't even pull it back, back all the way. Back taps. <laughs> wow. Back beeps is wild. Back beeps and back taps. I'm just saying. That like, probably so. should be the name of the episode. <laughs> Too many bees. But it does. It 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 really it gets to a point. It's like if it's if it's not for you, <laughs> it's not for Cosby. you. But you're not gonna make me feel <laughs> fucking bad because it's for me. Technically, I had KFC for one time. Oh, so it was mashed potatoes. Yeah. You know, <laughs> bro. No, 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 no. Tone, didn't you say you was leaving? Because you're not gonna eat them fucking mashed potatoes in here, bro. I remember what happened last time. <laughs> Don't look at me. You on a whole rant right now. Like, no. Dick. Like, no. <laughs> <laughs> dick right now. Let me eat my food in peace. Yes, I'm about to get out of here. You know, say, and fam is coming out from a Rooney fam. I've had it where it hasn't. Yeah. So. I don't care, bro. We're not talking about that as a man. Let me see. Uh, Nick said, one, come over. Two, turn over. <laughs> Three, remember. Four, you're a freak like me. Five, I'm on my knees. Six, you're begging me, please. Nobody's gonna do you like me. There you go. And that came out in '95, Wait, people. What, what was that? Freak like, Freak like, like, me. like me. That Freak came like out in '95. Yeah. Uh, what dream work, make the, the dream work. Right here. That's right. Hey, if hey. That, the lyrics, that, I that ain't just right John. Here. That's Big John in the comments. Is that why she? Get a, is that why she got a freaky secret? Very good. He about to yeah. romance the fuck out of that spoon. <laughs> I got a freaky secret. Eating ass. <laughs> Howard is crazy. She was talking about eating ass. I got a freaky secret. What is the world coming to? <laughs> right. <See? laughs> we don't give a damn about it. See, man. The, bro said sometimes you get tired and got to lay on your side. Yeah, and it's like you're trying to go from the side. And I know you know. Yes. You're trying to go from the side. The motherfucker has to be able to get there. And I right. don't even have a lot of ass. And you got to be able to, to get under. Right. Very true. No, she said that's nasty grind. Oh, you listen to the whole album. <laughs> <laughs> we only we didn't get there. Like, <laughs> we didn't get yeah, there I saw her mention that in the I comments. The long the album has been out, I've never listened yeah. to the whole album. Yo, Nikki, I'm gonna need you to stop coming to this pod. Like, I understand that you want to support and you like being here because it's a safe space, <laughs> and it's gonna continue to be a safe space. But I'm finding out, out, I'm finding out way too much about you as a friend, and I do not like it. This is nasty business, my guy. <laughs> Nah, I gotta read the lyrics. You was on some other shit, man. Um, but no, so on the way here, uh, I told Juan that this was gonna be a starting topic. It was supposed to be the starting topic, but y'all know me. Some shit triggered me and get, get me going. <laughs> <laughs> so that was 30 minutes. <laughs> right, that was like Damn. 30 minutes. It really <laughs> was. <laughs> That's why I had to go back and uh, do not go shame book. me into liking Lil Dick. I don't right. give a fuck who you are. That's no. why and that's, and that, that might be the, that might be. That's a fucking mind trick. You know I feel like you what? have to delete those off your body count too. They don't count. Yeah. That's my that's my my story. I'm sick of it. They don't count. No. Damn little Does dick it, niggas don't count in this no. world. No. Sure, but they need to, they don't need no to be saying all things that they're going to do, and then they cannot complete they the transaction. Little hands, yeah, we know. Free little eyes. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Nah, Nick definitely intrigues me more every week in the comments. <laughs> oh <laughs> God, bro, it's nasty. <laughs> nah, I'm just, just like hold on now, fam. My bad, Dino. I'm I'm not trying to kick out your fun, but bro, she gotta relax. <laughs> you don't gotta raise your hand <laughs> for every <laughs> question. <laughs> Why not? You, you don't have to have the answer. <laughs> It's okay to say I don't, don't know. <laughs> don't sway. Thank you, Rita. Yes, freak, freak man. Freak man. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, but I um one <laughs> brought up freaky something. And I'm, I'm actually happy that I have so many men in the comments today. Like because this is right, right on time. Don't go nowhere. So go ahead and ask your Stay question, here. Juan. Ask your question. I was like, all right, so as a guy and your homeboy, y'all been locked in. It's your nigga. 
Would you rather him leave you a voicemail or would you rather him call you via FaceTime? Voicemail. So, the reason why I wanted to discuss this is because I see so many niggas. Well, you don't talk to nobody. No way. This nigga said neither. Text me. <laughs> All right. Text me. Um, that might be a fact, though. <laughs> so, here's my thing. I am so sick of seeing niggas on social media complaining about, man, we can't do... No, no, no. Blocked. Blocked. Yeah, what happened? Blocked. <laughs> Terry's here. Nope. Uh, no, I'm definitely not here for none of the Walker sister bullshit. No. Not at all. And no, both not of them, at all. No. Not at all. Hey, let me some of the greatest John, John said he don't listen to voicemails. So, are, so you so, cool with so, your homie FaceTiming you? Because I don't see the problem. It's, no, it's not. It ain't like, bro, FaceTiming you in a fucking towel and his chest glistening like wine uh, in the fucking I will, 98, some nigga. Niggas will. I, will ho- I will hope he don't think that that's funny. <laughs> I but would pray he don't will. think that that's funny. Some niggas will FaceTime you just like the way they <laughs> are. Well, if you got the arm on the head, like, bro, you, got, you, you better be playing. Look, yeah, see, John you, said he FaceTime all the time. If you FaceTime me, the phone just need to point to the ceiling. I don't need to see you, nigga. <sighs> okay, so that means we need to block Nikki first. <laughs> see? <laughs> she invited her there. When I told her to go... And I was trying to be respectful about telling her to get the fuck out. You was like, nah, let her stay. And then she brought the other goddamn heathen hey, with her. Who? No, okay, so, so so here's what here's what right. here's what Nikki just did. So you know how like when you Wait, invite what say? Huh? unannounced FaceTimes are weird. Def, uh, yes, from niggas. I mean, no key, it's weird all across the board. If we don't jam like that, don't yes. FaceTime call. This nigga's been calling it the parking space for so long. And then if you say, bro, I'm finna FaceTime you, I'm going to be like, man, what the fuck for? Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> like, Yo. if you're not showing me Dino something. Dino said, <laughs> See, I, fa- I FaceTime more than I text or talk. Mimi, I got salmon preps in the fridge. <laughs> Somebody just randomly slides into the comments to talk about it. Yes, I ne- listen, because, you know, I'm can, going can on this cruise bell? for my birthday, and no. I got to, like, you know, just, a bell. No, just a little bit. No, because it'd be too loud in the comments, actually, and the bell is louder than the person. Yes, a, a fucking heathen. Mm-hmm. Um, Terry said, I feel weird when women FaceTime me. Um, John said, I'm going soon. They want to show me something illegal. <laughs> 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 he said, "Bitch, you just Facetime me." <laughs> he told you they together. It's entertaining. Yeah, but no. Uh, he said, "If it's not important, nigga, text me." That was dead. I, yeah. I'm with uh, that. Bro said, "Only time I Facetime is when I'm trying to show my child here in real time. That's what Facetime is for." <laughs> yeah. Ooh, that's nasty work. <laughs> that's a joke. Said, bro. motherfuckers get text confused and shit. True. Like, but here's my thing. Oh. <laughs> because there, there are so there, are, there are two different angles that I'm, I'm going with this. First and foremost is like I was saying, I'm so sick and tired of niggas crying on social media about man, we can't do nothing. Everything we do is sassy and blaming us. A lot of that shit be y'all. I just, it be y'all. I didn't say it wasn't me. Y'all be I didn't say it wasn't me. It be me. y'all, but they always put everything on us. Man, we can't do nothing. Everything we do is gay. We, bro, that be y'all. Y'all the motherfuckers that gotta pause every fucking other word. So y'all gotta all fucking no homo it. here. Y'all gotta do all the damn man. I can't yep. eat a hot dog in public no more. I like can't that eat be a banana. y'all shit. <laughs> that be y'all. That don't be us. And then you have bitches who see a bunch of niggas saying like, "Man, I don't fuck with that." So now they want to fit in and shit. Now they like, "Oh, nigga, that's gay." Bitches wasn't even caring about niggas smoking hookah and shit. And then when they saw other niggas talking about it, now it's. You know, I want no nigga that smoke they hookah. Started Smoking they hookah is a little jazzy. Sold out already. I ain't gonna that's lie to you. It's a little, <laughs> it's a little jazzy. But whatever. But you... it's not. It's just that's a thing. It's not culturally our shit. Yeah, that's I, Middle Eastern people. That's they jam. I'd rather yeah. smoke weed anyway. So whatever flush your boat. I'd but rather smoke. Also um, but then we go to the other element where you talking? got a bunch of people talking oh. about man FaceTiming is weird. I don't like to be FaceTime. But it's like. What is the main thing that Apple users love to fucking use? But we can FaceTime. You hoes don't even like to use the feature. So shut up, bitch. Who, who says, like, is that how people argue when they talk Apple versus Android? Because yes. that's, that's the stupidest shit I've fucking yes. heard. Nigga, 
nigga. That's, that's the that's the flex we that's use. Yes. That's Y'all don't speak for me. Y'all that's talk number me. two behind green fucking bubbles. Now, yeah, now I'm on board. They changed it now. I'm on board with I will fuck so with y'all about bubbles. them green bubbles, but I would never flex. And, and even say, then, I don't wear. FaceTime. I don't give a fuck about the bubbles because our shit is customizable. I change my shit to whatever. Like my shit, it's always gonna be purple. I always you, change my like, because that's like, my color. So like purple, purple is always my bubbles. No matter what phone you got, my shit is purple. Except when, like, when we have a group text where it's a bunch of us, I assign it based on y'all favorite color. So it's like Monte shit might be orange or, you know, yeah, yeah, like that. So that I I can instantly know who is who by looking at the color of the bubble. And that is actually smarter Mm -hmm. than fucking blue and green. Yeah, because I don't I automatically know who is saying what. So if I see red or something, and I'm like, all right, why well, I'm probably high, ignore that because it's red. <laughs> That's what I do. That's crazy. Because I, no, you really treat me like that sometimes. Because <laughs> I, like that, this is how I know you be doing that shit too. Because I read Facebook. Because I be on Facebook when I be calling. I'm like, this motherfucker trying to pretend like she sleep. I know she see this motherfucker phone ring. I see the Facebook stat. Facebook stat said three minutes ago. You just wrote this. This was just on your mind. It was auto-generated, nigga. I was just gonna say, oh, it's AI? I scheduled it. You can definitely schedule. Oh, yeah, I scheduled the hell out of posts. I've been scheduling all week long. Scheduling the hell out of some posts. They don't pay me to post, so I'm not scheduling shit. Well, they, pay <laughs> they pay me. Because they, they, they pay me, though. They pay me. Uh, they pay me. I would schedule the post. But yeah. That's why I get mad bro, every day. Bro, you, bro, you under red because when I think of you, I think of flames and going to hell. So your color is red in the group chat. I would hope mine would be like blue. What's, so. what's my favorite color in real life? Mine's blue. Blue's your favorite color? Yeah, I like blue. It's mine, too. That's what's up. Mm-hmm. Hi, too. Oh. See, look at the nails. That's yeah. nice. So and blue comes in so many shades. It does, but mine's actually royal blue. But I still love blue. Regardless, yeah. but royal blue is like. Like I heard a nigga say he like periwinkle. I was like, what? Yeah, because I I be having to schedule shit like <laughs> that's like me. Like if it's if you really get a text blue. from me right right at midnight on your birthday, it means one of two things: I really really love you, or. Like to to where like you know where like I actually like timed it for me to be able to send it, or I at least respect you enough to where I scheduled it to make sure that I didn't forget. So it's I either loved you enough to where I I personally sent it right at twelve o'clock, or I respect you enough to where I scheduled it to send at midnight. Last person I actually did that to was Denise, and she didn't even get the message. She didn't even go through to her phone. That's she was in Cabo. Yeah, she was in a different country. Shaking ass, or like thereof. Wine yours probably brown for gravy. <laughs> Damn. This is this is why I put your little slut ass out. Damn. God damn, bro, that was. She called me fat. I ain't like that. That's hard. Slut ass. Bro, yeah. Bro. She called me fat. I ain't slut like that. Ass. Why? Why she called me fat? It was unprovoked as fuck. It usually is. Hey, hey. People love gravy, though, bro. This is true. As long, hey, am I the Wong's Walk gravy? Am I Chinese food gravy? If, if I could be that, that's fine. Your you could be Chinese food gravy, or you could be homemade gravy. Like homemade Not gravy. the jar shit, bro. Homemade yeah, Homemade gravy. gravy homemade from scratch, bro. I don't care how you make that shit sound good. Bitch didn't have to call me gravy. <laughs> 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 let, let's get let, let's start there. She out here over whooping, you know. calling niggas gravy and shit. Why you saying blue so sultry? <laughs> Yeah, I, um, Cause I got my hair in ponytails, nigga. So we could be a little sultry. You say, <laughs> yeah, cause it's jello when it's cold. <laughs> That's crazy. Nah, but um, I'm really, really, really tired of niggas doing that. Like they complain all the time about everything being fucking sassy, but it's like, bro, it literally be. Y'all, whenever it's something that y'all don't like or y'all don't do, y'all call that shit gay, you call it sassy and everything else. But then y'all make it seem like we're the ones dictating everything that is supposed to be gay for y'all. Cause cause this this the gay shit on women list be real outlandish. Like lemonade or fucking desserts. Bitch, I'm fat. I eat desserts all day. <laughs> like, what you want, man? <laughs> there's no, there's <laughs> no, no I'm thinking about a is, toaster strudel right now. That is troll that is trolling to the ultimate level. And I know this because I've said it's gay for a man to have a cat. Because why would you want any other pussy around you? 
Why would you say that on the internet? You, you, because she's a terrorist. But I'm saying, see how to piss him off. That's a while. Yeah, but I don't actually mean it. <laughs> One of the best dicks I got got a bunch of cats. I hate it though. I'd be like, bro, put them motherfuckers in the basement. Why you got I, a bunch though? Why? Yeah. Like now, two, now, can we talk about cats. that? I guess because why you got a like cats. why you got a bunch of these motherfuckers? Yes, because kids like cats. I don't. I don't. I, I hate cats. A house cat is cool. Garfield was play. But to, to have him normal, <laughs> the fucking top cat, oh, J- now, Jerry. I will, now, I will, now I will say that I don't. That's, that's, that's I don't know any guys like who like who live alone and just have cats. It's like they got kids and got pets and shit, like a mix of pets. But I don't think I know any guys where it's just like kid, I'm a you know just I'm a bachelor with a cat. I don't think I. Why, that, why do kids like cats? Cat. That's another question I have. <laughs> I don't know. Have you watched cat I have, videos? Though. I mean, they have you hilarious. honestly seen cats them are the dicks? Way? That's why, because mm-hmm. cats are they're hilarious. I saw a cat stare a baby down and you slap the no, shit out the baby. Cat emo niggas. Heart and eyes. take consideration. <laughs> also, you don't go get a cat. Said, nah, a grown man with a cat is eye. See, I just said cat, like I don't, I don't think I know any guys who just like who live alone who have a cat. You got a cat. Yeah, but, my son has two, but he lives with his girlfriend. But so. I can honestly see that though, like because cats, I guess, are like very low maintenance. Low yeah, maintenance, self sufficient. Because yeah. beca- you want to know why cats are so fucking low maintenance? Because I tell you motherfuckers all the time, and y'all think that I'm crazy, but I'm telling you, you it's gonna come out in the end. Cats turn into humans when nobody is looking. That's why they don't need your help with shit. Because that motherfucker, what is that motherfucking name is you? Dante. And the moment that you leave and pull off in the driveway, you know how cats always in the window staring out and shit? That's because they be trying to see when you coming home. So they know. You, you They're walking watch- around and shit. Walk, walking around in your drawers and playing with the toothbrush and shit. <laughs> That's what the fuck cats be doing. Cats is humans. I don't give a fuck what nobody got to say about it. The motherfuckers is weird what and kind of, creepy because they know too much. What They're kind human. of weed do you stuff in them cones at home? I need to know. No, because if you think cats is people, fam. Thank you. See, bro, get he's shapeshifters for real. See, which which bro, no. which bro? Fact, no, it's not the fact that they may be human or not. It's the fact that they wear in your drawers when you go. That's some freaky. Wait, ass so shit. cats is scrolls? Like what are right. you saying? Yes, yes, <laughs> you yes. Are, like, you are far too many Marvel. Yes, you kind of relax. Yeah, look, they just turn into like how Michael Jackson turned into that soon, soon, soon as you. <laughs> As soon as you fucking leave and shit, this motherfuckers in here plugging up the Keurig and going to work. And <laughs> yo, imagine hey, just now listen, <laughs> truly think about this. All right, is that a why of, cat hair get everywhere? A lot of people have cats, Can right? Shower. A lot of people have cats, and what do they let their cats do? Just go outside. Their cats be gone for weeks at a time and wow. still know where to come back. You want to know why? Because the motherfuckers got an apartment downtown. <laughs> So what they, I, go I, yo, they go home. They go home. Cats be having condos and shit that y'all here? don't know about. No, Bro, I hate why, cats, man. Why, why he not helping you pay the rent? <laughs> like you here. You nah, here for bro. two weeks. Why don't you see? Me? Sorry, I'm, Sarita. But yeah, yeah, cat cat people hey, are I weird have, ass humans. Hey, I have two. Yeah. They're the kids. So when the kids go to college, they, they go are, right with it. No, you can't take your cat to college. You can't take cats out. You got it. Tim is an indoor cat. He don't go outside at all. Oh yeah, that nigga, that nigga really be in there popping popcorn and shit while you at work. I can see that. We had two cats before we had. If anybody got a human cat, you're scared. <laughs> There's literally no reason for them little evil ass animals. Thank you, D. They Thank you. Evil. Shit. Have you have you not watched fucking cat? I Christ just God, told you about the, the video I saw. Just, I watched, and, and they just stare at you and just slap the fuck out you. For I no watch reason. cat That's videos all shit. the time. You don't Yo, watch Tony Baker? We watch cat videos as a family. It's just hilarious. Though. The skippity paps. The skippity. <laughs> the, <laughs> John said, the skip- "Fuck a kitten." That's right. The skippity. The skippity paps. I love cat. It's I'm learning so much about all of you. I'm watching like, all of you. I already said I seen a cat eat a whole Thanksgiving plate: greens, mac, chitlins, and ham. Okay, oh, cat was, was hungry. He's a part of the family. He was hungry. Mm-hmm. They fixed that cat a plate personally. He was right. here before. That cat lives. <laughs> <laughs> Michael said they be stealing too. They do. They are oh, dicks, though. Yeah, I literally yeah. sat there and watched cats just <laughs> oh. knock shit off for no reason. <laughs> cat was like, I will kick a cat next. And you know what's going to happen? Cat's Go get jumped. You know what's going to happen? He go remember your face. And he yep. will pull you over and arrest you and beat the shit out of you because he's probably a cop. I'm telling you. <laughs> cop, a <laughs> cop cat is. Cats are cops right. is wild. <laughs> Cats is fucking, bro. They are diabolical fucking beings. I hate them. 
I the whole them. first hour of your show was not what was on the docket at all. Nothing but it was important. The, I'm just saying. What is important about a goddamn There were guy? things that needed to be said because I need the masses to understand, okay? One, y'all big y'all, pussies matter. Y'all, y'all worried about the wrong shit. Y'all worried about, about the wrong, wrong shit. shit. Y'all worried about fucking aliens and all of this UFOs and shit. You need to be worried about the motherfucking cats. That's what the fuck you need to be worried about. Cat cats are the ones that make the world go round low key. You remember on Frisky Dingo? Yeah, because was... they got fucking jobs. They secretly firemen and cops and nurses and shit. <laughs> cats are the you ones. You goddamn right cats make the world real... go round because they're fucking sitting... humans. The thing about it is all this time. When did a cartoon like that when cats guy... is like we, we are praising Sky Daddy when actually cats are the reason why humans are here. And and, the, and then <laughs> and then at, at, at some point. Uh... <laughs> I know too much. Damn white, white, and white people think we came from monkeys, and we all just cats. <laughs> That's ill. It's no, crazy. No, no, no. At some they point, at some point, they gonna get comfortable <laughs> enough to walk around in a feline human form, and we just gonna be seeing motherfuckers walking around looking like Lionel from Thundercats and shit. Watch what the fuck I tell you. Yo, if everybody look like King from Tekken. Nah, that's just a mask. <laughs> the Thundercats were literal cats right. in humans. Because Panthro was truly a nigga. Huh? Would you hit Chitara? That's gay. That's gay? I thought Chitara was a girl. I'm not, I'm not into bestiality. I don't do the furry shit. <laughs> that don't make it gay. Right. Just, I, that's the word that comes like, out. I, I, see what, I see what you mean. Right. <laughs> <Yep. laughs> you t- I guess you, had, you had me yep. questioning my intelligence for like 30 right. seconds. Because I'm like, Chitara, I know that's the girl. I, I know. And he was like, now nah, that's gay. Wait, I'm what? Not, I'm not hitting it. I didn't ask you to I hit said, it. cats are definitely human. A cat can take your nigga and bitch. Get on Facebook when you go gone. DM people and everything. It's insane. Yes. So you saying niggas that sliding in your DMs is really your cat? <laughs> that's crazy. Your cat trying to get some cat. Your cat is the reason why you got all these fuck niggas after you. Yeah, because they Kevin is an orange tabby, and then we have Cash. My daughter named him, but it definitely fits him. Yeah, I have Stevie and Mocha. So. There you go. What do we have? What well, it only fits there? that y'all giving them fucking human names. So we are already halfway there. Well, you can't name a dog a real name. That's just just weird. Name no, your I know dog Richard. Man, their dogs real name. Look, you know your dog named Richard. He's Richard my that, Chihuahua. That's great. My dog. I don't know. Samson. Trump worried that's about the Mexicans not paying name. taxes. You need to worry about them fucking cats not paying taxes. <laughs> so, Trump is Don, is so is Donald Trump just Garfield? He's a Siamese twin. Who lost his twin? <laughs> that's crazy. What if that's true? Twin, where have like you been? Been around? Miss <laughs> McMahon is his twin. That's that's that he, perfect. He going to jail. See, for him. That's why. This, <laughs> that's why Trump <laughs> want to be president again so he can pardon him. <laughs> that will be some of the nastiest business in the history of the fucking free world. Yeah, you don't think it wouldn't happen? Miss McMahon go to jail. Donald Trump wins the election, and then. January 2025. January 6, 2025. Gotta make Vince, Vince McMahon gets a pardon. <laughs> like you get inaugurated, then you let the rapists out of jail? What? We need more room for the real They would hang that nigga, but I'd be here for it. <laughs> I would be here for it. You are a horrible human. Yo, because corruption runs the world. Cats run the world. Like shit. <laughs> Corruption is the result of cats Put running the world. T- they make, you make TV real that, that's life. TV like, going with right that's, now. Just, that's all they doing, man. This is a Law and Order episode if I've ever seen that shit. Vince McMahon <laughs> did all that shit. Then Donald Trump is corrupt as he can be. Like, yo, I got to let my man out. Right. I run the world right. now. I got to run. That's what I'm saying. I got to put my nigga out. I got to hold him down. You know, then we we be at Monday Night Raw like free events till it's backwards. Bro, don't you ever in your life? Ever in your life say that shit. Can, hey, can you make that a sign for SmackDown? It's pro- it is in there already. Nah, oh, I, don't no. I wanted to take it to the actual show. Oh no, I was like, because on the game, it is a free event. No, wait, they check sign. They they no, fuck around. I don't know because the way they just announced on SmackDown, they had a contest for the. Best sign. Yo, imagine getting that shit on TV. Free Vince till it's backwards. <laughs> now, you hey, said Vince did that shit. He was wild in some of them promos. No, I was, no he definitely did. He did all. He did it all. He never denied it. It was the shit he that, that shit. <laughs> even, <laughs> even Stephanie was like, nah, bro, that's too far. Him living his kinks on live TV is the crazy part. Right. 
Like all that shit he do at home, he was like, was yeah. it really crazy? The nigga live racism out on TV. Yeah, he did. He really did. What's up, all the my nigga? Films, bro. Mm-hmm. Uh, That's still the wildest one. Then he said it in front of Booker T. Like, right. but not even just that. Like, no, uh, the, the shit and... that we allow in the attitude era <laughs> <laughs> was wild. Definitely. Like. X Pac came out as fucking Mark Henry, bro. Right. Of all people. And said, and say they did. <laughs> they removed that. that they was like big. blackface was crazy. Mm-hmm. But as as wrestling fans, like we was like, we was like, this is cool. Mm-hmm. It's racist as fuck, but this is cool. Yeah, but it made sense to the story. And the fact that black kids are cheering the white boys right. doing this shit. Damn, man, how anti-black are we? That was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Don't start that shit. That's Kayla, that's he had a point. Yo, hey, Kay- we need Kaylee to make a button because every time she goes, that's racist. It's funny as hell. <laughs> And I don't know if that's a clip somewhere in life or if she just make that is. voice when she no, said. She, oh, no, it's just funny because it's funny it is a clip. she really be like, oh my God, that's racist. And she'd be so surprised. <laughs> she authentically be shocked. Where is most recent, most recent, most recent? <laughs> you know what? <laughs> okay. That's just like I call. So there was a. Um... Tom Wife ain't going to make it to work <laughs> at all. <laughs> Nick said, let me grab a snack. Is it buns? <laughs> What? <laughs> Hulk Hogan, we coming for you, nigga. Yeah. He, Cold is, yeah, absolutely. The fact Booker, he was like, and I just I thought my career was over. Like Hulk Hogan was down with it though. That lets you that hey, should let niggas know he be on that no, kind of time. No, it the was funny Sherry part Martel was that was the one that made me laugh. Cause she was so embarrassed. She had to console him, like, yeah, I know we got here. <laughs> like, damn, I just got with y'all. Let me. I'm. A, I can make a call. Let me see if Vince is hiring. Cause uh, uh, hey, we ain't gonna be here. He said he really wrote the script to get his face mashed in a nigga booty. He was out of control. <laughs> <laughs> he, he had a kiss my ass club, fam. Yeah, right. Sherry Sherry he face did. was epic. <laughs> yeah, talk. Hey, it's like it's it, it, it's the moment he realized it. Shit, like as soon as it left. Like, Imagine like it that. Crazy uh, it's my last match. Didn't catch <laughs> Just Nick said, not today. Ain't dined on don't since last week. Actually, been a minute for me. I was just talking don't. about that today. <laughs> <laughs> dined on don't. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, take this shit off my soundboard. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga said don't. Like, what? Mm-hmm. Oh, Nick, you a freak. <laughs> <laughs> that is hilarious. I ain't dying on it. This wild. <laughs> like, damn, your vocabulary. I hate it. <laughs> Dod. No, but no. um, <laughs> last week too, like seven so days ago. Up and be like, mm, man, <laughs> so why? Um, I know why I saw it because he sent it to me. I had already seen it on Twitter, but um, apparently, um, Aiden Ross was bragging to DJ Academics that he smashed Sexy Red, right? So she went, no, so she went, you know, on, I'm not calling that shit X. It's fucking Twitter. Yeah. <laughs> if we go call it X, he better add two more on there because that's what the fuck it is that's at this point. Is right now. Um, but she said, you paid me to take your virginity, and I did just that. Next with the yawn emoji. Oh, now. Wow. Stand on business. But <laughs> the funny part wasn't even that. It was, y'all know me. I like to go through the comments. Oh, absolutely. So there was an argument. And the guy was like, he still hit. And that's but, the defense. Uh, but that was the defense. But, like he still hit. But it then, happened. But you then, stand in front of the uh, jury of 12 and said, but, but then, he still hit. But then the guy came underneath that and he was like, but that's not really the flex. Like he paid for it. Right. That's also a fact. Two things can be true here. He did yeah. hit, but you did pay. But he was like, it don't matter if you pay. She's still part of the collection. But it's like, bro. But I feel like you on also that. contributed I, to we, her. These are all income. points, though. Like, so, I'm, I'm, so, I don't so, know whose side to be on. So, right, so, 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 right. so I was invested in the back and forth. I was like, hmm, what's he going to say next? But then I lost the thread. I was like, fuck. I forgot <laughs> to save it. You but, always uh, supposed to save it. That shit was because he was like, um, that's not really a flex that he hit because he he had to pay to hit. Like, he, he paid, paid for it. He paid to get he his was like, first it don't matter. piece of pussy. Right. Period. I, I believe he said that he paid. Like I guess that was the first black girl he had ever slept with. 
So that's what he paid for. But he paid for the black experience. Yeah, uh, Dino no, no, said no. Twitter and Instagram comments lets me know the world has a lot of stupid looks, and Facebook ain't no better. It was said last week on our show. <laughs> Bro said, No, you got a receipt, ain't no flex behind right. that. Right. Bro, having a receipt for pussy is wild. Like claiming on your taxes. In her cash app <laughs> is money for pussy. Okay. Okay. So when I was dating Marv, Marv used to do shit like that. If he would send me money, he would be like for like for anal or like for but like he would he would give like the weirdest fucking descriptions. And I used to be like, bro, if I get audited for selling pussy, <laughs> <laughs> I'm on your I'm on your fucking head. Well when I found out that I guess whatever, like, you know, in passing, it was paying for his first black girl. I was like, okay, that's cool, you know, whatever. But I was, I was more like, why, why her though? Like, right, why, right. why, if you're going to buy it, I feel like the world is your oyster because you rich. You can get better pussy than that if you're going to pay for it. Beautiful black girl like, to go. And this be, is, okay. There's no knock on sexy red, but she is not at the top of the list of paid vagina. But listen, but listen. At least for me. But hear me out. So, you'd be better off with Glorilla. If I'm not you, paying for that either. But if you are going to, like, as a black guy who is probably fetishizing, I mean, a white guy who is probably fetishizing black women in the first place, mm-hmm. he is probably going for the filthiest experience that he can get. Yeah. So I can see him even paying for Suki. Right. That's who I, But, okay, now, nah, I would have chose to that your for point him. with that. Mm-hmm. Just because it's like, yeah, no, well, no, I but a Lori Harvey or something, but it's like, bro, she ain't gonna be on no, but bullshit. at the same, but that. at the same time, just because Sexy crazy. Red looks like this and she talks like this and she portrays this image, there's no telling that like her sexual experience is what she rap about. Oh, oh we know that most oh, so does. I'm saying, like, that, up you could have paid, there. you could have paid for a dud. <laughs> Like you looking for a black experience on being slutted out by a slutty bitch, and then you pay and got a dud. I mean, that's period though. This, yeah, that is everywhere. But I'm saying, like, if this is what you was looking for, that's funny because me you could have just bought some high quality black home, pussy. Me and my homegirl was actually just talking about that. How motherfuckers like they talk themselves up sexually, and then yeah. it's like it's fucking disappointing. And it's like, bro, all you had to do was shut up. All you had to do was shut up. Um, I and then, but the, the the irritating part I about it, I tried it for the jewel. The the irritating part about it is once you know that they ain't really on it, every time you see them talking about sex and making it's it like, seem uh, like they just so freaky and filthy and just got all of these skills, and it's like uh, you fucking liar. And then you be lying. <laughs> Fucking life. <laughs> like I hate it. And it's like and, and and it seems like once you experience it to know that it's fucking huff, just some huff ass dick, you see him everywhere oh, on oh, every post talking ready. about this huff ass dick like it ain't huff, huff ass dick. Huff dick is hilarious. Yes. I right, but just because it was huff to you, it might be slapping to somebody. Else. No, because no. you gotta remember the huff dick is what goes in the group chat. And then you Definitely. give validation to your girls that it was huff for them too. They just didn't want to be embarrassed to say they actually hey, had man. it and never admitted it. Everybody's sexual experience is different. So just because your experience with the huff was huff, <laughs> huff, huff and puff. Hey, and then pu- blow nothing down. Right. Bro said, I, ain't, bro he said probably- I ain't never playing uh paying right out. <laughs> right out. <laughs> All right, so it's nothing wrong with getting paid. It's just the fact that this white man has the audacity to feel like he that nigga for me. Paying outright is that like buying an iPhone like straight up? Mm-hmm. <laughs> this is a paying out. I'm paying outright. Look, we've told you millions. There is nothing wrong with buying or selling pussy. No, it's mm-hmm. not. I was just my, the pussy you bought. My only problem, but see, now you hating. I know. I won't lie. <laughs> now you That's hating. big hate. That's super hate. <laughs> we just talking about this. Now you hating. I'm, I, I'm, not, I'm not saying I'm not hating, but I'm like, yo, bro, like you could have did better. That's all it is. Better but choices. That, but that's hate, though. But that's his first time, though. He didn't know no it's, better. It's hate, though. He expected what I'm, he thought it was going to be in the lyrics. Business. It mm-hmm. didn't be. It, it was huff. It was Maybe Reggie. It was huff. It was Reggie. But again, I don't even though I'm already hate. Was it Reggie? He, <laughs> he thought he was going to get Disney below. World. She, got she Disney does Land. look like a Reggie. Pretty sure that's her father's name. You know what? <laughs> On that note, I'm out. <laughs> you said, just I saying, if you go pay weeks. for Cooter, why is that the Cooter you would choose? 
That was Michael. If you go, Rat House is crazy. Glow got them new tennies. Yeah, we know. She, she she's so, showing them. Yeah, Glow. <laughs> and, that's, and that's another thing, right? So, okay. Everybody knows. not supposed to show them? Don't lie about it being a leak. If you go show your, like me. That's what her PR told her to do. My, look, my pussy's online. People know this. I mean, I, but I, I, look, how I, did, I just posted a promo the video on Snapchat. Like go follow Come or Walker on Snapchat. <laughs> but if you go post your shit, bro, just post it and just own it. I'm like, you know what? I, mean, I just want to, I just want to get a little reaction. JT got some nice nipple. teeth too. Oops, it was an accident. Like, bitch, if you want to post your nipples, it's not, it's your fucking nipples, bro. It's right. the PR. J- the PR JT got some nice titties like too, that. from City Girls. Yeah, her titties nice too. Shout out to JT. <laughs> she's a solo rapper now too. Why? Because Young Miami is a podcaster and she's in the media space and she also fuck with Diddy, so you got to kind of stay low Definitely right with now. with some better yeah. quality hoes in the city. I mean, I mean she's she, she, not rapping right now. She giving pussy to like uh, outright, never mind. <laughs> right. Diddy's outreach. only <laughs> one of her problems. So she <laughs> she ain't separated enough. Right, you know what I'm saying? But you know, she got to stay low. You say, we I mean, seen the like tape, no thanks. Bro. Like, they still together, but Big Boy won't stop making albums. Ain't no betrayal she realized, nigga. Mm-hmm. Well, some people discuss sex and make my stomach hurt. Right. <laughs> it just annoys it annoys me. Because the sexy red, I don't want it. <laughs> Low key, mm-hmm. we done been with some real sexually talented motherfuckers. <laughs> fucking down is trash. What the hell? Fucking down is crazy. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> Huff was the best way that I can describe but it. But it was a very good. Yes, Huff is real crazy. No, it's but not. It's, but it when works. you think, well, when you think about Huff, Huff, Huff as me, what is it? <laughs> You you thought that this weed was gonna take you to a certain level and it didn't because it was fucking huff. That's how I feel about huff ass dick. I thought that it was gonna be some elevated, just some some, some top nice tier that just had me on cloud nine. Episode and instead, I am huff on burly on the curb. <laughs> no, you on burly on the curb. Yes, that is a nasty location. Mm-hmm. Uh, I hate seeing some <laughs> mid talk like they top tier. Hey, it is a no, lot. for real. It is like a lot of mid pussy online that really be talking like they hot shit. <laughs> it's like, nigga, the hey man, you gotta let people do what they do, man. <laughs> Bro said, and Huff is trash to even rookie smokers. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, oh god, it is. Dev said, Dev said it was CBD. <laughs> no, we need to go back up to what he said about sexy red. <laughs> CBD pussy is crazy. What, sexy red, not bad. No, he went to like, go, go keep go back up some more. Go up for three five and a for three five. <laughs> that three five, <laughs> a pack of black and miles. And some lemon <laughs> I'm uh, not hanging out with nobody that's on that kind of time. <laughs> you know, I, is wild. sexy red. She don't know. She, sexy red got face tats and look like she's stank. Not interested. If I'm gonna spend my money, I would. I'm you know you to be with a decent husband. Yeah, you know. Or at least go, get, man. You could have found better shit on Instagram. Hey, uh, I already said y'all are forgetting. This is a white man. He doesn't understand the correlation between black top tier cooch and just the craziest experience. It's like when you meet a white person and they name the blackest song they know. They don't know what the nineties R and B is. They go name like the most known black song. That's why he chose Sexy Red. That might be true because when I discuss. When I discuss when I discuss hip hop I mean, with because my you got- coworkers, they, no. the first person they bring up is like but think Snoop Dogg. Uh, think about like it. Hammer. <laughs> think, <laughs> like think, think about the trend that's going on now. How many women have we seen online crack the joke and say that for them to get a white man, they're gonna have to go out and get a weak ass wig? <laughs> because white men don't know about our hair, so they don't know like. That wig, Bro, wig. that wig weak as a bitch. <laughs> they don't know that. Because they they not one of us, so they don't know. Mm-hmm. So when that motherfucker's sitting like this and then tilted a little bit, and, and it looks like a motherfucker bit. just did like this. And then you, know how, a little bit, you know how your little brother and shit used to wake him up and like, oh, make that bitch ass nigga fuck up his hair? Yes. Yeah, like they don't be knowing no better. Yes. yes. <laughs> that is correct. <laughs> so... When I see black women with a certain type of wig, I'm like, she date white. Mm-hmm. You know she don't date a black dude, right? She don't even. She don't have to open her mouth. 
She don't got to order. She don't got to place her order at Starbucks yet or nothing. You automatically know she's taking pink dick mm -hmm. by the wig. Yes. yes. Because that synthetic ass. Be because, there, ass because there are levels. It's like you can have some weave or wig that you like. Come on, sis. But, but there's a certain type of wig that is like. Bro, that is a white man magnet. Mm -hmm. white man magnet. Right. Like the moment yeah. you put it on, it's like a helmet that just summons pink dick. Mm -hmm. It's like Thor's hammer, but for pink whoa, dick. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Not Thor's hammer. <laughs> Not the hammer. That's a gem. <laughs> I was saying a wig determining who cracking is wild. It's true. It's true though. Pay attention. It's funny pay, because, pay attention. It's funny because it's true. You know, I'm, <laughs> after the show, if I remember, I'm gonna I'm try to post some examples in the group so that you can see Please. exactly what I'm talking about. And you be like, you know what? <clears throat> I see it now. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, I, you know what? You know what? I damn near wanna. Hold on, I'm finna see. <laughs> Cause I, cause Why? I, I, we I, gotta. Cool. No, it, it ain't gonna take me long. I just wanna see in particular if she's married. And if she's married to a black guy, because if she is, I'm gonna be surprised. Mm -hmm. Who is Alvin Whitney? Can I see a picture of him? Mm -hmm. Who the fuck is that? <laughs> Nick. Isn't that Alvin Whitney? Oh no, he's a black guy. I'm surprised. Wait, what? Is I was looking at Pam Oliver's husband. Oh yeah, because her wigs extra trash. She yeah. should just go low, a little haircut or whatever. Get some braids. <laughs> Do something. Hey, he said I have a friend who has a weak ass wig. I'm gonna send it to me mm -hmm. now. Does she have a white man? She said you have a lot of friends who have sucked on ass wigs, Nick. <laughs> yeah. Damn. <sighs> yeah. He can't. He so can't. am I weird for wanting a cougar at this point? He can't come in here. Nigga, ain't this. you up there? Huh? Yeah. When you oh, how how much older? What would you say the age range of a cougar is? I thought it was like 10 years, 10 years or more. So if you 40, 50, I might still call you a cougar in your 50s. I mean, I don't consider myself a cougar. Yeah, why everybody want a cougar? Just give me like a, give me a badass milf. I said 15 <laughs> years older than you. Yeah, everybody want a cougar. Give me a badass milf. And we Gucci. I mean, that's kind of because, like, it that just says mom. I like to fucking people be teen moms and shit. So, right. You really can't set, like, you really can't set that standard. That's why I've never really gotten the milk thing because it's like, bro, any everybody be fucking mom. We moms and don't know what the fuck going on. We still trying to figure <laughs> shit out. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> like, <laughs> I, I appreciate you for dampering my spirits on, on the time. No, that no, was no, good. I appreciate I'm it. sitting here on the it's couch like, and shit, and this little motherfucker in the car seat looking at me. I'm like, bro, I don't know what's going on either. I'm still trying to figure shit out. That's like, crazy. Like, <laughs> I don't get, get it either. <laughs> we, we in here, we in this together, so we're just going to figure it out. Together. <laughs> the crunchy black lady wig usually comes with the weird personality as well that the white man likes. Yeah. Yeah, it's all hand in hand. Mm -hmm. Hand in hand? Yes. White man and and, uh, and and we got action. I'm gonna go ahead and check out this <laughs> this, this, this photograph. White 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 man and fuck their wigs is crazy. <laughs> See? Do you know her? It's the fuck. It's absolutely. That that's the one. That's it. This is what it's always like. This bro. That wig is crazy. There's so much forehead going on. Mm -hmm. That wig is crazy though. But no, but that's what I'm like. Mm -hmm. But and does she have a headband on too? Yeah, it's a headband wig. It look like it's on the headband wig. No, that's not a headband. That's the hair swooped. No, oh, I thought it was a headband. No, no. Mm. the lace. It's actually up top. The lace, right? It's the lace. <laughs> hey yo, Nick, it's a special spot in a fiery hot place for you. I just <laughs> want you to know. <laughs> hey, this motherfucker got whips about a pound, bro. Yeah. God damn. That motherfucker got more swoops than a Nike sign. Swoosh, swoosh. It's a thick ass swoosh. It look abrasive as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> it, look, it look real abrasive. painful. No, I'm serious. Like, it don't got no sheen, no shine, and it mm -hmm. really just, it looks like. It looks like a wish wig. Like, bruh, I wish she take this off. 
Absolutely. Because it looked like it, it looked like it irritated the side of her face. Like it looked like it scratchy as a bitch. <laughs> the itchy and scratchy show. Like as soon as it touches you, you just get to doing this shit. <laughs> You said, uh, they be big as hell. She's a sweetheart, though. <laughs> we're not judging. We're just, you know, sharing. If we were to put the picture up, which we're not going to, but if we were, you would see what we're talking about. We protect so, the innocent around here. That's right. We changed, you know, the names. If you thought it was a headband wig, and it's not, it tells me that she not only has a white husband, but they have teenage children <laughs> as well. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> Having teenage children. The fact that I see it. That's spot <laughs> spot on. Like, was he was he white? He looked funny he looked, though, too, was like, he like be, white Asian? Yeah. Um, it'd be funny because <laughs> was? Like, yeah. It'd be funny because like when my kids going to school out in Brookfield, I see it all the time too, where they like to be married to the white men and I'd be looking at their wigs and I'd be like, That's crazy. When you part it. But it doesn't part, right? You see, no. no that's no the. That's the like. So there's, there's a section, <laughs> but there's no actual like no, no, no actual part section. Like yeah. how how about part here and like there's no part. Right? They gave y'all the play. Do you want to be paid or do you want to be slayed? Both. Wait, yeah. what? Hold on, because what are we talking about, Dev? He said I felt disgusted, but she had a wet shot out this world. <laughs> what are you doing? Context, brother. Yeah, we because we that's why I don't even know what. Nikki, don't you send that to him? Don't you? Don't you send that to him? Wait, what, Nikki? Huh? Don't she trying to send him that pic? Don't you send that to Ma? <laughs> that's crazy. Uh, so do they get a voice in black women issues or no? Nah? No. Uh, the white man? I I'll, absolutely I'll not. No. <laughs> no. Um, cause they not go vote for no, shit that black, benefits us at all. With a white husband, you standing on black issues is crazy. <laughs> no, no, it's not that. It's when it's that specific type of white woman. I mean, of a uh, black woman with a white guy. They don't give a fuck about shit that benefits us, right? At all. Like that's just there are different types. Can I can I be honest with you? Like there there are so many different types of like interracial relationships. And you can tell based off of like, like now the most times what that dynamic is. Our our auntie gives me interracial vibes, and it's crazy because her husband is black as this motherfucking screen on my phone, but she definitely gives me interracial vibes, and her her children give me swirl baby vibes, <laughs> and everybody's black in this scenario, which is really fucking crazy to me. The craziest part about it is <laughs> that like. My mom, I was just great because, like, you know, we don't fuck with her no more. She lied on me about why she put everybody out. I didn't have shit to do with that. But um, the, 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 the craziest part about it is, like, Grandpa put her through college and shit. Right. But she had a different dad. Hmm. So it was mom's mom and him because, hey, Granny wasn't on that shit. You know, Granny was like, oh. Anything you can do, I can do better. Absolutely. So not only did I do this, but and you finna take care of this motherfucker too. So yeah, Granny did her shit. But uh <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah, but but grandpa put her through college Putting and she wasn't even like into college. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Didn't talk to you in the full ride. You can go Listen, ahead, baby girl. And and but this is the crazy part about it. Like I've I've told y'all several times how motherfuckers try to make it seem like our generation is so toxic in the problem with the women. But it's like, bruh, I don't know who the fuck y'all were raised by, but my granny ran ho. She had a brothel. My granny also didn't play that shit. So if you if if you didn't have no money, she wasn't on that shit. Like and she granny had you. granny had niggas who had money that was long to the point where when they was gone, she was still getting paid. So I don't I, know why y'all don't be wanting motherfucker to be taking care of these days. Because it, it's two things that growing up with granny that I don't recall: granny having a job and granny making tacos. Only thing I never seen. Granny grandma. couldn't cook. Period. Though, so we really can't use that. That's true. I ain't, like, never, I ain't never seen grandma get him go to work there. Ever. 
she, which is funny. She just drank a rum and sale. Need to. Like, <laughs> which is funny because in all of my years, never has my grand like never seen my grandma go to work. <laughs> never. But she literally left the house to go spend money all day every every <laughs> fucking day. Dude, now you got me wondering every, about my granny. Every like, day, know, granny like, was never up seen my granny go to work either. And leaving <laughs> the crib <laughs> and spending some cash. Like and she would always be sending Where it come like, from? God, I don't fucking know. Now I'm up here rethinking my childhood. Like wait a minute. Yep. <laughs> grandma was always available. So, so he, right. and, and, and that's why we was always over there because Granny didn't have no fucking job. <laughs> Granny bills was paid. Granny didn't have no motherfucking job. Granny was out here pimping. My grandma had like two houses and stuff. Hold on, wait, wait a minute. My I'm Granny like, had three. <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute. She had three. She had two on the east side, oh and then she had the one that we were in. So she eventually she moved out to that one and she ended up moving into one of my uh my auntie's spaces because it was smaller for her. My mom got the crib that we basically grew up in, and then the other two she ended up she finally fucking sold them. But Granny had properties, and it ain't like there were properties that she was getting a bunch of money off of because she put her kids in them houses. Mm -hmm. So it ain't like you know it was investment properties where it's like okay well that's where she was getting her money from because you know right, she was collecting rent no the fam was there the house she was in her daughter was downstairs the other uh crib she had her son upstairs and his grandma was downstairs so it was like mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and then we was on fucking 19th street so it was like Absolutely. all the family was in all of the cribs so she wasn't renting them to the outside motherfuckers but we had big jim that nigga hated kids I, bro, I, I, was, I was so, scar on my hand so afraid of folks. Secret. But then when he died, she said, oh, okay, let me slide in. The then it was Bubba. That nigga name was Bubba. And Bubba had that dough. That nigga used to leave that motherfucking money. And he used to be a fucking wide. I used to go in there for a settle like, God damn, man. Look for a grandkid. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but uh, but no, I I've never seen my grandma work a job, and I ain't never seen my granny motherfucking broke either. <laughs> so it's so funny, and then it's like one of my cousins, um, she's older than me, um, uh, I'll never forget because my mom my mom tells me the story all the time. She asked Granny to borrow two dollars, and you know back in the day, two dollars was you know that was some. Now it's like, bro, telling you to go sell your pussy for two dollars is nuts. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, but uh, my cousin asked my granny for two dollars, and granny sat her down and talked to her and said, "Look, let me tell you something. As long as you got that motherfucker between your, you shouldn't be asking nobody motherfucker for no fucking money." And from then on. Guess who didn't have to ask nobody for them? Them bitch was getting fur coats and all right. kind of shit. Turn, like Granny was like, cousin, a scammer extraordinary. Yeah, granny, granny, granny was like, we'll beg around here. You know, use what you got to get what you want. Like, shit. That was on the Players Club. Like, Man, Granny put niggas on game. Man, she was like, ain't no reason for you to be broke. She was like, you out here fucking and shit, and you ain't got no money. You doing it wrong. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So that's what be so funny when people try to make it seem like it's the modern women. Who have this mindset, like, bro, who do you, when motherfuckers was in there peeling them potatoes and picking and washing them greens and shit, you bitches was outside. So y'all don't know what the fucking conversations was. They was telling us a wet ass and a dry purse don't match. Oh, I'm sorry, a wet ass and a dry pocketbook. Yeah. Because it was all about the pocketbook. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's crazy. It's getting a little wild in the comments if you want to. Get into the comment section. And no matter how many times you say that in life, it's still women out here doing it wrong. But our generation is so freaky because the generation before us was molesters and shit. Why you had to take that? Uh, Nick said, nigga, what the fuck? That's some off the wall shit to say. So <laughs> Nick and mine on the same uh, baby. Right. <laughs> I'm here for the jokes said, I read the time. comments on a post that said at 9, at 13, at 24, shit made me feel sorry for so many. Well, I'm he said every sexually liberated person isn't a victim. Sheesh. He said it was a response to the two different generations comment. I wasn't even talking about the freakiness for the generation stuff. I was talking about how motherfuckers yeah. make it seem like us not wanting to fuck with people who are not 
wealthy or financially you know, compensation right is it, is a, new, a new is not that's new. what i was talking about i wasn't even talking about the freaky shit. Yeah, man, we, we've already discussed the fact that niggas back in the day was freaky when when the whole wop situation came out we came on here and played the fucking lyrics from all the old songs yeah they was out here wild. i already know old motherfuckers was nasty uh You two break it up in the comments there, player. <laughs> yeah. No, but um, that's okay because I have some um some inappropriate humor. So you know, break up the tension in the comments. <laughs> yeah, I bet this is why. But that is wild. Uh, you know what? Wow. Shit like that makes you think, though. Hey. Cause... Hey, like, you really gotta think about it. Like, hey, you know, really ain't. This woman should look like she's doing. Nah, she's totally... She's plotting something Got an evil plan. Mine. Look at those hands. <laughs> she was definitely hitting Mr. Burns. Yes. Smithers. <laughs> you said they'll never believe you. She is plotting something absolutely that... vile. Well, that's just like the one chick when they got pulled over and she started acting like yes. <laughs> yeah. And she's like, I gotta, she's like, I gotta work. She's like, I can't go. Crazy. Yes. <laughs> Fucking yes. <laughs> I can't, I can see it, but where is it? Because like I don't see everything on that's here. On the screen or on the computer? No, on the computer. everything that's there up there, I can't see it here. And Tone left, so this bastard. <laughs> oh, never mind. It just it looks different. Cause it has a different uh yeah up there than over here. Burn them so when the fire was burning you, yeah, of course. I mean, I was there. Interesting, you say that because I can still hear the sound effects of somebody getting crossed in the background, which tells me that you ain't changed the battery in your smoke detector. Have you learned nothing, my brother? Oh shit! <laughs> oh shit! And I was like, wait a minute. So I had to replay it and I heard the smoke detector people like, oh shit. Now. Wow. <laughs> Have you oh, learned nothing is wow. crazy? Have you learned nothing, my brother, <laughs> is crazy? No. So <laughs> what I'm gonna do, because again, <laughs> y'all y'all know me, and I be oh. all in the fucking comments. Mm -hmm. So it was the comments on this post. Um, <laughs> man gets out the fire just to get roasted. <laughs> Yikes! That's wild. <laughs> the smoke detector let him know it's about to be a round two. Wow! <laughs> oh. The shit people put on the internet. Hey. I mean, you open yourself up. <laughs> <laughs> he said that was the Jordans in the kitchen sound. Uh, wait a minute, cause it was it was a specific comment, bro. Chill, he was already cooked. <laughs> <laughs> you was well done, right? Wow, extra crispy. <laughs> yeah, I just, bruh. He looks it's, like beef jerky. It's always the fucking. He looked like that slim Jim Sarita just had. <laughs> like Mine it's, it's chicken, always the a comment. <laughs> and I and I felt so bad that I he laughed. Looked at, like chicken. I felt bad that I laughed at it that I had to put it up here for y'all because I didn't want to be the only motherfucker <laughs> going down. You want to laugh by yourself? <laughs> Bro said you ain't done getting cooked yet. Got to get double fried. Oh shit! Damn. He like not double dip. He like beer batter. You like the wet batter and then the dry batter? Tampor. I just wet and dry batter. Well, since we already on this train to hell, I tried to <laughs> I tried to send y'all in the group chat, but I don't know if anybody watched the video. So like one night, this is how I know my uncle will be on that same shit where he don't want to laugh at bullshit by himself. So he sent me a video of a of a of a chick with like Tourette's. Now Tourette's syndrome is not funny. That's a serious thing. Fuck so. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. If you don't remember that, <laughs> bro, delete me, bro. Duh. Fuck so is crazy. And it was 
So it wasn't that she had Tourette's. It's the shit that just like in the middle of her having a regular conversation, she decided to scream out. So she was trying to give a tutorial on how to make lasagna or how she was going to make this lasagna. And she kept saying, baby penis. <laughs> just what? Like, what the fuck? And then she was like, God damn, baby <laughs> penis. <laughs> I loved it. So I watched the first video and I was like, and I read the name. I'm like, no, nah, this got to be like a fake page. Or like, you know how you get one of the pages that just posts a whole lot of content. It don't ever make sense. So as I scroll, hit the page, it's all her. So now I'm just on like this 30 minute rabbit hole of just her watching her content because she got Tourette's. And trying to explain normal shit and then you go, baby penis, oh God damn, it's crazy. <laughs> My thing is, do they get to pick what they what they say? Oh, bro said the Twitter comments on that video nuts. I bet I saw it on Facebook. <laughs> I I didn't see it on um on Twitter, but I can just fucking imagine. Like speaking of Twitter, they are doing a documentary on Black Twitter. Hmm. Hmm. It's interesting. It's very. Um, have to wait and see. So speaking of now, I want to alternate because it's like if I go on the sad shit, then I'll have you know shit to reel y'all back. Why in. we gotta go sad? Well, because it's like it depends on how you look at. It. Like I mean, it's sad because a life was lost, but then at the end, it's like lessons are learned. It can't be no sadder than the shit that happened to me. Um, the fuck happened to you? Well, Another not to, came in and hit on no, you. No, no, no. So. Huh? I was on my way to work in the morning. And so, you know how you get to a certain part of the freeway and then you start seeing the traffic slow down. You realize that the freeway is shut down. And they're diverting traffic. Oh, diverting traffic. did you bypass that lady that got hit? No, it wasn't the lady that got hit. So a guy decided to jump off a bridge. And so happened that he jumped off the bridge and connected with a Miller truck. <gasps> and they had to, they shut the freeway down because they had to sweep his ass literally off the sidewalk. And I know shit like that shouldn't be funny because the life was lost. But if you going to fuck up everybody else's day because you didn't want to go to work, that's bullshit, my guy. Bruh. Yeah, I can't, I can't get jiggy with you. Yeah. You're, you're, you're alone. I'll be alone. Hey, look, if you want to self-transition, cool. Do that shit in the privacy of your own home. Don't subject me to your fucked up day. Who told you to jump off a bridge? It's so many other ways to do it. So shotgun to the dick, first of all. So here's the thing. The fact that 12 ways to die just came up in my head. See? Just no, because you because no. you just like me. No, but here's the you thing. You can laugh. Like okay. that, that honestly, that is kind of fucked up. Like when you unalive yourself to a point where like you traumatize people who Everybody. don't even know you right. on the way out. That Miller mm. driver is fucked up. Absolutely. He is definitely in therapy. Like you need help not only you splatter the nigga face you, all on the windshield you probably had to pull the yeah, and then it's and like it's like thing. bro right. i didn't plan on doing this and now it's like now every time i go to do if i wake up you know i'm like damn i want spaghetti now i can't even eat spaghetti no more and shit like it's just it's random shit because of because i've really been craving spaghetti and if some shit happened to me like that i'd be like fuck i really don't want spaghetti right now but it's like what the fuck you want me to say? Eggs? Like Humpty Dumpty nigga? Like, no. It's just, it's, that was what I thought of. Fucking spaghetti. No more beef around you, huh? But it's really just it's like, damn, like Elbow noodles. Why lower. does everybody else gotta be like subjected to that trauma? That's what I was on. Because now it's, it's literally a domino effect of fucking trauma. Mm -hmm. Um. So yeah, that's that's wild. Like Because now, now you like and then it's like, imagine this shit, right? So you because you was on your way to work right so now what if that really fucked you up mentally to a point like you like bro you gotta like I, I i can't do this today like that's that's really fucking with me it's i can't get that out of my head is i'm distraught it's just it's a lot because everybody processes things differently mm -hmm. i'm glad i didn't see nothing and I'm then like, it's like we work with me all day Paul. It's, but exactly and then it's right, like, but that's what i'm real. saying so now i got yeah. <laughs> i saw his liver oh fuck now you right 
Yeah, yeah and then it's like now. And now you're over there grinding, you know, the, the beef and stuff, and you looking at like that's what you saw. I'd have been in the yeah. parking lot like now. I'm going back to the crib. Right. <laughs> this is nuts. But see, that's the thing. And then it's like, Literally. okay. Oh, <laughs> but now you put in a position where it's like, damn, bro, I, I got to call in and shit. And it's like, what if your manager not going for it? Like, oh, well, that's not considered an emergency or, you know, so you got to put in two days notice. And it's like, bro, I literally just saw a nigga brains on the pavement that I didn't plan to fucking see this morning. Mm -hmm. When I go to the movies, I pay to see somebody get their shit splattered. This wasn't on my agenda today. I I will hope that I wouldn't be in such distraughtness that I will have the wherewithal to just tell him I got a migraine. Yeah, but I'm just saying it's 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 so many. But so yeah, many I mean, things. Like that's what I'm saying. Like, bro, you just like dog ain't never gonna be the same. Well, that's nuts. That is. See, Dev true. said I could be on my last point at work, and now I'm getting fired because you want to swan dive off the bridge. That's all I'm saying, bro. Like we had nothing to do with any of that. Yeah, or at least like, at least properly like measure your calculations and shit. Because some people go to do that and then they don't even die, like they survive. And then they're like that dude that you showed us, like half a person. Yep. Surviving a suicide attempt is like that's why. Bro, I'd be so pissed. And then I feel like I'd be going through like a lot of despair and shit because it's like, bro, I went through all of this, and now my work, my life is worse than what it was before. Fuck you! Like I'd be so mad at everybody. <laughs> uh, that that conversation when you get to the pearly gates would be real. You know what? They be escorting you to hell and you just be kicking and screaming like, see, that's why don't nobody believe in your bitch ass. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm trying to take my... Obviously, what? he said, fam, if he was to the point of unaliving himself, he gave zero fucks about y'all that clearly. Right. Clearly. Yeah, he was just being selfish. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, dog, all our sense of humor is dark-skinned in a motherfucking man. Yeah, man. Hey, look. <laughs> what if I had a fresh car wash? Can I go in his pocket and get my money back? Damn. He don't bro. have any pockets. You got to find his jeans first, nigga. You know he what? Not in them. <laughs> oh, wait. My, I, I wasn't supposed to go. I, I go too far? I, I hate it, you. Was too much? I just want to let you know that I hate I was you. Too much? Because the fact that my brain was going <laughs> in the right But my brain also went in the coochie. That's what I went. Whenever Bond talk about jeans now, that's what I think of. Coochie? Oh. Uh, folding the coochie yeah. like a pair of jeans. That was crazy. That was wild. <laughs> That's insane. Oh my god. Yeah. Asshole's a good rapper though. Uh, this nigga Dev is hell. Yes. <laughs> yeah, he going too. <laughs> Cause just imagine that, like, bro. And then it's like, if you do find the half and yeah. go in that pocket, but the money's in the other pocket, and that one's all the way over there. <laughs> Cause it's like you went in the pants it, pocket, but it was, it in, but it was in a hoodie pocket. And it's wet because the nigga body exploded. How you gonna pick that up? You ain't got no gloves on you. You, you just go risk hazmat for a car wash, bro? Nah, yeah, at that right. point, he keep that 20. <laughs> he keep all of that 20. He need a lot more than I did. This shit is fine. Why is this not fucking... I don't have a dark sense. Janky ass... Uh... Well, speaking of car accidents, this pissed me off so bad. It, look, it fit, but that was wild. As, as y'all know, now. like, like Re, Re will be twenty, right? Re is she has actually had to renew her probation license, like, and I hated like her probationary license, like, I'm just so, and I know I have to let her grow up because I don't want her to be like certain people in our family who always, you know, wait until the last minute to drive. Um, <laughs> I want to hit you with this microphone so bad. But oh, don't worry, cause you you got it honest, cause your mama was the same way. I know. Um, but it's really just it was different than like back then. Like motherfuckers didn't have no reason to not know how to fucking drive. Right. But now we in the age of like all these kid boys and the stolen cars and all. Like it's different now. Like back then, nigga, as soon nigga, I was chomping at the bit of fucking nigga. I was fourteen. Right. And like, dude, I can't wait, I can't wait, I can't wait. Nigga, when 15 and a half hit, and I was Permit. ready to go to fucking drive, nigga, I hurried up and shut, and I damn near muffed my mama with that fucking permission slip. <laughs> <Sign it>. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then, I low-key think that's why I beat that girl ass as bad as I did, because when she got me kicked out of Marshall, I got sent to a school that didn't have driver's head no more. 
<laughs> oh. But um no, nah, but I, I wanted to learn how to drive so bad and I did. Like, so I was excited because Reed Dad don't do shit. The one thing he actually came through for, he paid for her to go to easy method. He paid for her to do easy method to do driver's ed. But it's like we only have like the F-150 for her to drive. That's too much truck for her. Mm. Um, but it's really just I'm not worried about her. Like when I would take her driving, like we was, you know, we up half and we just go straight up and you hit mm. Butler and Menominee Falls and shit. Right. So, you know, I would take her driving, you know, up and around there. And like she does fine. So it's not that I'm not confident in her driving and being able to like turn and maintain control of the vehicle. It's like she doesn't have the defensive driving experience and that's what you need the most right now right like i can't tell you how many fucking times we would have been fucking goners if it wasn't for the fact that i have superb defensive driving skills like at a light you can't just pull off now like i'm yep it was like uh, a month or two ago and Rush was like mine the light green i said i know I said, I saw it. You didn't. Right. So it's like, even just like them little distractions and shit, like, you don't be fucking knowing what's coming. So it does, like, I don't want to smother her to the point where, you know, she doesn't do something that's necessary for her to do. It's just, it's hard for me because of how they fucking drive now, especially because I know where she has to go. So I know what point she has to drive past. And her taking Fond du Lac scares the ever-loving mm-hmm. shit out of me. Like, I have been driving for decades. And even I be on Fond du Lac squeezing my booty cheeks tight. Like, bro, please don't let mm-hmm. no bitch run this fucking light. Because that's all they do. Um, So it's like, even, you know, with the point of wanting to just get her, you know, her own little car and shit so she can, you know. But it's like, then it's like, I don't want her driving a car. Like, I didn't, I didn't drive cars. I always drove trucks because that was what, you know, my mom always had. And that's what I learned how to drive in. And then when I did finally buy me a car, like it was, you know, the Camry. But um, I just, I don't want her to have a car. If she is going to be driving on her own, I want her to be in something big where it's like, bitch, if we playing chicken, I like her chances. <laughs> that's why I don't like cars. I, I don't like feeling like I'm in a fucking, you know, a Pepsi can and shit waiting to be crunched the fuck up in a car accident. I need something bulky. Mm-hmm. Deb said they need to close find a <laughs> What they gonna do with it? <laughs> like it just bro, that, long, that street is long as fuck too. Find a light goes forever. Man. But you know what? They they really only need to close it to a certain point. Like, cause you know it's like the little the little Fonda like expressway and shit. Mm-hmm. Um, I feel like that'd be cool. I just like once you start getting a little bit further up, but yeah, once you start hitting down by like seventy six, like going down the further you go down and shit, nasty work, <laughs> absolutely terrible. Niggas have no regard for stop signs or anything and then that's another thing like a lot of people now aren't doing driver's ed and shit so it's like they have absolutely no idea what the fuck the rules of the road are they don't know what the signs mean they just feel like okay i know how to turn left i know how to parallel park bitch i'm good i know how to drive (laughs) and that's not how it works at all yeah so with them not you know getting that it's bunch just a bunch of clueless motherfuckers who feel like, well, I know how to maintain control of a vehicle. I know how to drive, and that ain't how I go. And a lot of them can barely fucking maintain control of the vehicle because they drive too goddamn dumb. Mm-hmm. So I, I do. I'm, I'm allowing my fear to cripple my baby, and I have to stop this. But I'm just so nervous. Yeah, I mean, mine has been driving for a little bit because um, they're gonna be 18 this year, so they've been driving since 16 and a half. Because I had that moment too where I was like, okay, I'm, a, we gonna. Put you in driver's ed. You're going to take the long, <laughs> the long driver's yeah. ed. Like, take yeah. the long classes. Get, get a lot of, get a lot of, you know, being able to drive on the street and everything as well, too. But even with that, because out in Brookfield, you still weren't getting, like, the Milwaukee action. So now, 
when they're coming to my house and driving to Milwaukee, that makes me nervous. Yeah. And then when I go to their brother's house, because their brothers stay on the east side, that makes me super nervous. Because I'm like, okay, call me when you get there. Text me. When I'm like, and your sister there too? I'm like, okay, that's both y'all. All right, please be careful. Yeah, like so if, if, if we didn't live on the north side of Milwaukee and like she didn't have to travel like in this area, she'd have been driving. Mm -hmm. It's really just, is because we're in the inner city. Yeah. And being in the inner city makes me fucking nervous. So if she was, you know, she was like working in Menominee Falls or some shit, like she had to go the opposite fucking direction. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, baby. Do you live life prosper? Mm -hmm. But because I know like she does, she she got to go down this way mm -hmm. and, and deal with all that bullshit. It does. It makes me nervous. So and then it's like shit. Jelly Bean is turning 15. So it's yeah. damn near time for her to learn. Mm -hmm. So it's like, fuck, man, it's a lot. Yep. Yeah, so. Munch gonna be fourteen next next month, and I'm already thinking about that stuff. But I, so this is not the reason why I'm nervous for redriving. Re is not this fucking dumb. <laughs> no, it's not even bad. Okay, you're in this lane. You wanna, you wanna keep what it lane? This lane? You wanna keep it this lane? This lane, right here. Okay, I thought you were talking about the bike. No. Oh. Yeah, okay. Well, stop, stop, oh stop. I got you. I got you. Oh, stop, Jesse. Stop. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. Jesse, stop! Bruh. You had like, damn near a full city block to stop, right, and, and, they and, yelling then, at you and to then stop. yelling to my, I got it. No time. The entire no, time. No, like, she time. see what the fuck going on. Right. What lane? You want to keep it this lane, this lane right here. Okay. Even I when they discussing what lane, why would you not okay. slow down? Stop, stop, stop. Oh, Jesse. Stop. 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 Yeah, so that's the type of shit. More and like, and it sucks driving. because it's like whoever was in that car, like they got a full impact. Like mm -hmm. that wasn't no. That's how my accident was. That that was damn near how it was when uh a boy was getting spicy because he didn't know <laughs> all all you niggas was in the car. <laughs> that nigga was talking. Yeah, was well, somebody go pay? Who nigga? You hit me. Then he see. Yeah, man, we gotta stick together. <laughs> <laughs> I never forget that day, bro. We was never. Gonna, we was gonna stick together. All right. mm -hmm. Oh god! And that was a Benz too that she um yeah. messed up. So she hit a BMW when she was in the Benz. Uh, D said make a 60th street a one lane street, but not actually fixing the street is absolutely brilliant. Exactly. This one lane shit is stupid Very. because it just it it it's basically become a fucking challenge for them. Mm -hmm. Because now it's like, oh, I have to get over in this amount of time. So now I'm been, like, it hasn't gotten better. No. So it definitely hasn't stopped anything. And I've seen people like them little white poles. Oh, yeah. I've definitely seen them. Up. Up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Because people like me probably didn't let them over because, bitch, you saw that shit there. Like how far along? But then I hate, go speed racer go. <laughs> but I hate <laughs> the other places though too that where you're driving all of a sudden they switch it to a one lane and you don't even know because like okay if I'm not familiar with this area and all of a sudden you just decide that you're making it into you're doing construction. I didn't realize you know, that they had did it to Appleton. Yeah. Same thing. Yeah. So saying. that so now the right lane is turning lane only. Mm hmm And you gotta coast keep going straight. So I didn't know that at first. I was like, oh shit. So then I had to get over because mm -hmm. I didn't know they fucking changed it. Right. Yes, Jesse is absolutely a moron. Because like, <laughs> bro, why did you what uh, like, why the fuck would you stop? You and then it was like, I got it. No, Clearly you, not. You don't, you don't. Like you're still going. <laughs> Um, uh, I'm so glad I've been going all winter. I knew it was gonna be a mess. Mm -hmm. You know, yes. I honestly, I, I'm happy that we didn't have like the winter that I thought we were. I thought it was gonna be bad, bad, mm -hmm. cause we had some real nice day like going, you know, into it. So I thought we was gonna have a really bad winter. Like, yeah, we had you know some shitty points, but I'm thinking it was gonna be like nonstop blizzard, damn near. Right. Um. So we actually did pretty good because i was wondering about with them putting all those um those little blocks out and shit and the little mm -hmm. you know poles and shit i'm like what the fuck how they finna plow this shit right on your fucking side 
But they do that. But what I'm saying is because the plows are wider and because how narrow they made those lanes, I was wondering, like, how was they supposed to, you know, but I guess they just used them real tiny ones. But I'm like, bro, that should take forever because they're small. Mm -hmm. Man, El Nino. You see that? You know, shit when we was in school? <laughs> you just always hear about fucking El Nino. That's all we heard. El Nino. Global warming. It's a shit show by my place. I can imagine. Whew. That is wild. Mm -mm. Hold on. Cause, okay, so I have videos, but it's hard because I can't tell which one is which based off of because the thumbnails that are on the screen are different for the videos than was in front of me on the computer. So, um, this one I do know though. So there was a um a video that was posted, and a lady was basically asking, like, you know, why. She was single. Why she not married yet, and all of that shit. I'm gonna play that one first. One, I don't have any kids. I got a. Why is it so low? Three. You can turn the fucking volume up before you left. I have two paid off cars. I'm about to close on my first house this year in May. I'm not toxic at all. I got a big. <laughs> I'm releasing an app on iOS and Android. I work hard as fuck. I'm not clingy. But I'll always make sure my partner feels appreciated. Okay, so I don't cook, Ooh, but I can't cook. Oh, no. And it's not like I don't know how to cook, I but I on. just don't cook as much as I should. I'm probably not as feminine as the average feminine female, but I, I wear heels. I dress up. I just feel like I have a very dominant personality. I'm 5'8 in my head, but 5'4 on paper. I've <laughs> never actually lived with a partner before. I'm just trying to figure out how am I not married with five kids running around. Like, what the fudge am I doing wrong? Most people say, oh, I don't give people a chance. Yes, I do. I have boundaries though. And I don't let people fuck me over. I'm gonna say more than three times because I give chances. I even give you a second chance. But it's so easy for me to just walk the fuck out once you start playing with me. But I still don't understand how I'm still single. Interesting. Here's my thing. Did you turn it back down? I did. Well, because I don't know if that's only for the volume there or our volume too, like with us talking. So that's why I turned it back down. So um the crazy thing is I heard her list all of this stuff, but like nothing about her character. Right. Like, are you compassionate? You know, are you generous? You like, I didn't hear her talk about any type of character mm -hmm. traits about herself. It was all like or any personality traits. And, you know what I'm saying? Like nothing. Like, bitch, are you funny? Can you tell a joke? Like none of that. Can you hold a conversation? But I think that's just the way you that <laughs> I think it's you the way the society is set up where it's like, like number one. Not everybody wants to get married. Not everybody wants to have kids. And so, like, those are a couple of things that she mentioned. But like you said, she's not really talking about what she can actually bring to a relationship. So. Um, no, she didn't. <laughs> no. John said she said she was manly. No. She said that she's not as feminine as most women. And I get that because it's like. Yeah, I wear pink hair. I'll dress up. I wear heels and stuff like that. But it's like, I am not your traditional feminine woman. Like, whenever you see Sarita, Sarita always got her lashes done. She always got her hair done. She always smell like some type of fragrance and shit. Like, that's not me. That doesn't mean that I'm not feminine at all. I'm <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know what? You irritate <laughs> But even with me, I don't feel like I'm still not as you bougie fan. Relax, don't, don't even fight this one. <laughs> I mean, I sit, sit this I one was, out. I was, just, just, I was sure finna hit the side. I like <laughs> sit, sit this one out. Too. Like girl, even in a jogging suit and shit, you still you girly girl. Like like me. What am I in here with today? Boots, joggers, t shirt, and the fucking Columbia. Like you look homeless. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> but if Bay, that's not Bay, was like. 
put Thank that you. shit on. You want, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh-huh. what do I do? That was what Kayla was teasing me about. Like, oh, bitch, but you wouldn't got your hair done, your makeup done, and all this shit. Oh, that ain't your boyfriend. But that's what I'm saying. Like, so I have my moments that's where wild. I can be extremely girly you and be feminine and stuff like that. Yours. But that is not, that's not my default setting. <laughs> Being super, you know, feminine shit, that is not my default set, my default setting. That's not what I'm most comfortable in. Like well, she if, she was just letting niggas know that I, I can do the job. She wasn't trying to tell you how well she was good at it. She's I can do the job. I, I'm I'm suitable. But how, yeah. you, but how you gonna do the job? I don't know. You gotta give it to her and 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 see what she can do with it. So with any job, I can tell you I'm great. Then you get me there and I'll be Slacking the shit. Need to see your resume. You're right. Dead, dead <laughs> terrible. Like you said, you could do this. Yeah, I told you what, what I needed Nick, to tell you. Nick said I look like a soft stub when I'm not at work. That's probably <laughs> accurate. Yeah, but yeah, it's soft, soft stud is crazy. <laughs> and trust me, I would look a lot worse if I didn't have this pink wig on. <laughs> I would be pure Charles right now, looking <laughs> just like my father, <laughs> just like him. So <laughs> it it is. It's like I so I, I understood, you know, what she was saying. Like, cause you can tell, like, you know, she's fem- it's just she not always on that. But I grew up as a tomboy. Like why I tell y'all all the time, nigga. Like, I had mystical braids, <laughs> jerseys. I'm walking around fucking penny hardaway jersey and the pennies and shit, you know, the one air bubble. That was my shit. But yeah, that was that was my thing. Like I, I was never like, Fuck like girly girly. <laughs> And then when I did, you know, start getting a bit older, like I tried to do stuff like, you know, because we were going out and stuff like wearing the heels and shit. But it's like, I ain't had no sauce like that, bro. I was in the pointy heels. Like, <laughs> was you in the kitten heels? No, not the kitten heels. Okay. As long as you wasn't pointy, in the kitten heels. No, I wasn't the kitten heels. Crazy. It, was, it was the pointy. Cause we was in our business casual days, bro. That is true. Yeah, wicked, was in the business wicked casual. Wicked witch of the West shoes. The little blades and little pencil skirt and shit. The little pointy heels and shit. That was, that was our thing. That was nasty. That's what y'all was wearing <laughs> to the club. Like, what? who was letting y'all Nick's, in? Nick said the corner kickers. <laughs> <laughs> who was letting y'all in? Just like that. That's how they selected the club. Really? That was the mm-hmm. shit. Twenty ten and shit, man. Yeah. My on Facebook from back insane. then. Insane. If you if you ever from go, like twenty ten to like twenty sixteen, I want to say probably was like the, or twenty fifteen ish. That's mm-hmm. nasty that's like business. The business. A hoodie and some sweats, comfy as fuck. Yep, that's me. Um. I will pull up, pick because you know, like me and him, like we used to be in a club all the time back then. So if you look at pictures of like me and Lando and shit back then, like we was actually taking like couples pictures and shit, dog, we was weak as fuck. <laughs> 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 we was weak as a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> that is funny. <laughs> yep, Nick, little vest with the pencil skirt. Mm-hmm. The, hey, the pencil skirts was working shit back then, mm-hmm. nigga. Nigga, you go straight from fucking stapling papers straight to happy hour. Right. <laughs> that that was our bag. Mm-hmm. And then be able to go to work in the morning. Yeah. You stay out all really night and dre- go back. Niggas really dress like cast members from Sex in the City to go out. <laughs> <and shit>. <laughs> <laughs> when you think about it. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. nasty business. Nice. Absolute. And then that was when uh everybody had like the color coordinated jewelry and shit. Mm-hmm. Whether it was Claire's or remember like it didn't come Charmer with Charlie. Set. Charmer Charlie. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Them or Dillius. Yep. Um, and it come with a full they got everything mm-hmm. separated by color. So it was like, you know what? I'm wearing this red for tonight. Let me get this, this red, yep. red necklace <laughs> with a matching red. And then we had them big ass beads yep. around our fucking arm. They're like, mm-hmm. yeah. Yep, Delia's right. Yep, <laughs> that and I used to go to Delia's because Zanny yes. used to work at Zillia's, uh, Delia's, so I used to get her discount. shit. So, yeah, it, it was, it was so real. y'all was in the club with pencil skirts, pointy shoes, and costume jewelry. I really yes, hate that I don't know how to work the photo. Who's a wet seal? Yes, that is disgusting. Hey, I really hate that I don't know how to work the photos because I would definitely put this shit on the screen. <laughs> Yeah, Charmer Charlie was yeah, you, overwhelming. Man, that was back when you could actually go to the mall and get your whole fit. Yeah, you was living yes. with me when I used to dress like that. This yeah. was the crib on, on Hampton. Yeah, that's absolutely nasty business. <laughs> yep. That was a wild era. Let me see if I can that was, that's wicked work. March 2014. Let me 
go back. No. That's <laughs> disgusting. Yes. Uh, Britt said Charmer Charlie's was so fucking overwhelming. It was like the Ikea of accessories. It was. <laughs> Kayla said, I usually look like a pure nigga. <laughs> um, can we go ahead and clap it up for Kayla? Kayla has finally, finally completed her relocation and moved into her spot this weekend. So congratulations to Kayla. Especially because she's gonna have a bum sleeping on her couch. Oh, what? <laughs> Save me. <laughs> Sorry. Who goes? Who, what? Are you putting people out? Oh no, I'm talking about me. Fuck oh. kids. You just gotta leave and, and mom and a dog, bro. I mean, you you are. You, and you you know who that is too, right? That's Lil G from Silk. <laughs> I got. I can tell my 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 one of my best homies. He looked just like dog. <laughs> he refused to believe it. I'm like, nigga, y'all is twins. <laughs> You a dead ringer. Yeah, so I don't um I don't feel that enough, you know. I mean, we wouldn't know anyway, because we don't know what she's like when she dating. Like she was like, Well, you know, I'm not toxic at all, but it's like, bro, does that mean that That's you're toxic. like emotionally detached? Like, uh, you know, That's like when I tell people me, I'm a nice guy. Cause as much as y'all try to tell me I'm toxic. I just look at it like, bro, I don't want to argue and fight over nothing. So I'm I'm not in a place where I want my energy disrupted, where I want to scream, yell, and fight with you. So the moment you get on that bullshit, I am removing myself. I will mm-hmm. talk to you when you were over it. When you were ready to, if you were ready to have a conversation about it, and we could sit down and talk to each other without cool. you fussing and, you know, on all that bullshit, then yeah, we can do that. But I'm not going to argue with you. And he he says that all the time. Like once he comes down off, you know, his little turn green shit, and we and he was like, man, he was like, thinking you really dumb. I said, no, I don't. I said, this is not the same bitch you knew all that time ago. Like I don't be on that. Like back then, back then I was a little nuts. Like <laughs> shit, you know, he get a little greasy or something on the phone or something. He come on and I and I be sitting on. I, I swear to God, I was sitting on the. Uh, on the trunk of his car, like, oh, perfect example. Remember Aaliyah, one in a million video? I mean, Remember how she was on, on the front and she was, you know, right on, on, on the windshield and shit? Mm-hmm. That was me, except I was on the back window. <laughs> um, so, yeah, you know, I, I was a little unstable back then. Now I don't I don't have those periods where I get triggered to that point. Right. Even if, you know, you cussing, you could, like, that shit, it doesn't rile me up anymore because I'm like, you just don't know how to handle your emotions right now. Correct. And I'm not going to fault you for that. So mm-hmm. whatever you feel like you need to get off your chest, go ahead. I'll be over here. Right. So, you know, I'm just, I'm not that person where I feel like I want to argue and be confrontational all the time. And that is honestly why even a lot of people on Facebook, I no longer engage with y'all. Like if I feel like you were intentionally misunderstanding me, or like you know, you so like tro- you, you trolling. You see, yeah. Or like you see that I'm saying one thing, and you keep trying to make it sound something like I'm else. saying something else. I I won't even. I'll get to a point where I'll just stop replying. I don't give a mm-hmm. fuck if you feel like you won the argument or not. I don't care. I'm not gonna keep doing this with you because I've said what I meant several times, and you keep trying to say it like I said something else. So fuck you and that. And I will go and and while you talking to yourself, I go post another status and talk about something else. Right, and I'm the same way though too. A I'm win is a win. win. Or I'm like, no, this is it's it's a waste of energy, to be honest. And I and it's funny you say, you know, how you used to be, because I used to be horrible too. Like I ran my ex husband over with my car. Okay. So let's Fun just for three. <laughs> right. <laughs> so I mean well, and I, no, I'm two for three. Um, I got Joel Lando and Jelly Bean Dad Tony. That drunk bastard was actually quicker than I gave him credit for, it, but I forgot he used to play football too. Yeah. So he hit me with the footwork and, and hit the curb. <laughs> Why are y'all trying to hit niggas with cars? Well, no, I mean, I was 17 at the time. So, I mean, technically. Mine was justified. And I feel like mine was too. But even still, it's like, you know. There is nothing justifiable <laughs> about getting behind the wheel of a car. Sexually transmitted disease. Definitely justified. Punishable by gunshot wound. <laughs> probably, should, gunshot. probably should have shot folks. I'm just saying. Well, I'm a felon. 
What does that mean? I can't have firearms, nigga. Legally, you can't. But you can have whatever you want. She I can't have firearms. And you can't get caught with that. She has a vehicle. I have a vehicle already. Look, what I'm saying is you you can't leave. You may not can legally do it. Bro, but if, if I shoot it, a nigga with a gun that I'm not supposed to have, guess who I'm going to be? Tory Lanez. <laughs> don't get caught. Like Tory Lanez. <laughs> Tory Lanez got told on. You think them niggas won't go tell on me, bro? I wouldn't tell it's on It's hard you. to prove I hit you with a car. You can yeah. you can prove I shot you, nigga. <laughs> I wouldn't tell on you. <laughs> but yeah, I yes, that we Britt. all grew up. Britt said, know? we are protecting our peace by any means necessary over these ways. Yeah, that I just... not protecting I don't... your peace. No, I'm talking about... We don't run niggas over now. All right, we're saying, talking about back in the that's, day. That's why we don't run niggas over now, right. because we protecting our peace. Because uh, that's we not that time protecting And let me tell you something, though. Running niggas let over. Let me tell you something. If they make Fords anything like they used to back in the 90s. Ooh. <sighs> yeah, there'd be a lot of bodies. Well, 2.5. I told you. he. I, I might have clipped the back of his ankle or something, but he, he made it on the curb in time. But no. To hit multiple niggas, and then and before I hit the second one, I I rammed his car first. He had a Tahoe, and it was all his fault because again I told him I said, "Do not go to my house. Don't go to my house." Came to my house on bullshit, parked his truck blocking me in, and got out his car on some bullshit. So I threw that motherfucker in, and I mm, and moved it. And guess what? That bitch didn't crumple, fold, or nothing. Had that been one of these new model bitches, that motherfucker would have folded up like a goddamn sprite can. <laughs> only thing that ha- the only thing that happened after hitting his car about two, three times, and then hitting him with it, only thing was my little Ford emblem in the grill was kind of dented in, <laughs> like because that part was plastic itself, yeah. and that was the only thing. Like the little Ford was crushed in a little bit. It was because I told you don't come to my house, and then you hopped out of your car thinking you was gonna snatch me out my shit and attack me. Accountability, accountable. She told him not to pull up. If you pull up, here are the consequences of you pulling up. And then you. What did you do to him to make him feel like he had to pull up? And then you pull up. Who started this? What do you mean? Who started it? I'm sorry. Do you not know what a question is? No, I'm saying, what do you mean who started? Who started what? <laughs> who started this shit? How did we get? How did we get to it the point Lando. where you felt like what happened? Where he was like, I gotta show up and stand on business. It was Lando. So he instigated this whole thing. Yeah, because he was mad that I outed everything. Well, hey man, you can't be out here passing the, the rubby dubbies in this motherfucker. Game. You won't get out it. Yeah, but no, I um won't be giving niggas the scabies. Yeah, so that was justified because it's like, bro, I was kiss and, me, I'm Irish, and even then, know. and even then, because <laughs> because back then, <laughs> top of the morning, I, I was much, I was much smaller back then, so I was like a buck fifteen, a buck twenty, maybe. Like I'm one ninety now, so I've gained a whole person. But back then, he was still him. So he was still, you know, six foot tall and, you know. Out here looking like the people's champ. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, I'm not, all right, this what you want to do? Let's go. So, yeah, you know. He was going to lay the smack down on your candy ass. Yeah, well, he was like you a try, weed on you, my roof. You tried to stone, <laughs> you stone Cody. Stone Cold got hit by a car. He was out for a whole year. Hey, low low key, hearing a nigga rolling on the top of your roof and adjusting your mirror just as you see him falling off the back is like <laughs> that's like a highlight. So like if I ever get, if I ever get to the gates, and, your highlight tape and, gonna and, be and crazy. And Peter pulled that up like so, Dinkins. What about this time? on mates? I'm like fuck. Yeah, your highlight tape gonna be epic. Of just all the fucked up shit you did. Mm-hmm. In your hey, life. low key. Be- before they send me to hell, I'll be like, hey, can I get a copy of that? <laughs> I, want I, us, I, I want us to watch it when we get down here. <laughs> you just sitting there trying to I'm analyze and how, explain every situation. I'm how to get here. Nah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be. It. Hey, hey. If they give me a copy of the tape, I'm gonna be down there showing my shit like old dog when I get to hell. <laughs> <laughs> like check this part right here. This part right here. Wait right here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be down there showing my shit just like old dog, nigga. <laughs> said, nigga, it's my tape. <laughs> that nigga came was upset. Hey man, thought I told you stop showing motherfuckers the tape. Said nigga, it's my t- is Minister Society still on Netflix? It should be. I need to watch this. 
Cause when Can't dog, see how bad it actually is. When dog rolled up to check Kane about his cousin and got the shit beat out of him. <laughs> but that was his downfall though, too. Because that's what got him killed. And you know what? And I bet that that ass whooping he took probably was all for not. Could you imagine you sitting in the house, you know, maybe you having girl talk with, you know, with a female friend. And then here come your big burly overprotective eyes cousin who eavesdropping on your conversation. And because he happens to know the nigga that you are speaking of from high school, mind you, nobody knew your cousin back then. But everybody knew this nigga he was popping. So he knows dude from high school and he decides that he want to step up and protect his cousin. And you done walked your happy ass over here. You got your motherfucking ass whooped. Not even whooped. You got stomped out in front of the whole project. You rolled up on that nigga on his turf with no backup. Exactly. He had what no choice but to shoot Kane low key. Okay. So but then also too, if that was her, um, if they end up having that baby for real, now your now your nephew or niece or whatever ain't got no um you got no daddy because you decided to do all so that. Have a question. Cause, cause Who was dumber? Um the cousin from Minister Society or Warren G rolling up on his dice game. Warren G definitely. Yeah, Warren G. Because <laughs> like, cause you rolling up on Kane, Kane could have been a civilized human being and had a conversation with you. He could have. He could have. No, not the way he didn't say, Hey, can I holler at you? My no, he was like, Which one of y'all is the partner? I don't like you knew he wasn't finna be on no civilized shit and you rolled up like that. I felt like if old dog wasn't with Kane. Kane might have had a conversation. Kane was never that guy. I don't care what you say. I watched the whole movie. He <laughs> is not that guy. Is there a button on here? For yeah, that? I he think there was. He's not button. that guy. But Kane was not that guy. <laughs> hey, look. He said he wasn't gonna be no daddy. Know what? I mean, he was. Because <laughs> he put. He had the Jimmy on extra tight. <laughs> that. <laughs> shit. He, he really said that shit like that meant something. <laughs> hey, hey, so the, that means that pop, nigga. What you mean? Hey, hey. And now that I'm older, I'm like, oh, so he needed a magnum, huh? <laughs> that nigga said, because you know that was way pre. Uh, that was everybody was in the lifestyle joints, right? He Tro was poor Trojans, wet and wild. <laughs> That's disgusting word. <laughs> My ex used to fuck me with a wet and wild. And then I grew up like, man, now I understand why I was, yeah. Wow, it was like tires. Wet and wild. They used yeah. to make flavor condoms. I am bet they still do. Yeah. That's because when, when we was at the sex dungeon, they had uh, that's a that's a because people give oral sex with uh condoms on. Mm -hmm. oh, well, I guess. I'm, I'm not chewing a balloon, but hey. <laughs> that nigga said, Hey yo, homie. Like I'm just saying, which just, one of y'all is Kane? Go to a right. go to a birthday party and just start licking balloons around the place. That's what sucking what? dick with a condom on. Just happy the birthday. Wall. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> John said that nigga was moving to Atlanta. And wasn't looking back. <laughs> nigga said definitely gave out some top with a Fruit Loop balloon. <laughs> <laughs> Dog, come on, Nikki. Didn't I just tell you stop <laughs> confessing? Uh, Mario said, I love that these narratives come alive for y'all. I feel like y'all were right a dope move. I told them we need to be on Tubi. They're not listening to me. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, cuz it that's what happened. Like, when you go back and watch Mr. Society, a lot of shit could have been avoided had yeah, niggas it's a, just it's trash and niggas just kept a cool booty in certain situations. Mm -hmm. Like at the beginning of the movie, all Brody wanted to know was like, look, fam. You been home. You still got the money for the robbery. Where's my cut? Let's go back to the Why robbery. Why you get out of pocket with folks? Let's go back to the robbery. I feel sorry for your mother. <laughs> now, right I, I'm, there. Not talking, I'm talking about but before I'm we even, got there. I'm just saying, when he was a baby so and watched his daddy, shout out to Sam Jackson, smoke that nigga. Because he said, all he wanted to know is, what happened to the money from the robbery? That's all I want to know. If you got it, Where's my cut? And then you look at a nigga across the table and you come out your mouth and say, I ain't your bitch, nigga. Fuck hey, you think you is Ron O'Neal? Booty is never not funny, but knowing that she eat butt is like, are you thinking of like mint flavored or like... It's like it's a York's peppermint cool. patty? <laughs> <laughs> it's magically delicious since we are on, uh, you know, St. Patrick's Day. It's magically delicious. 
I've been nicked like a shame. Uh, too. Mario said the Hughes brother said the movie was way more violent. And I'm like, how? <laughs> <laughs> they did have those parts where they um, Kiss bitch out. said Mentos the fresh <laughs> maker. <laughs> I love Nick. When, when can, I want to pie with Nikki. I swear to God, I do. Mentos fresh and full of love. I want to pie with Nikki. <laughs> Mentos, the fresh maker. Wax action. <laughs> you like glazed honey buns? Literally. Freaky ass girl. No, but like you do. You sit and you think about like, and I understand. And this is why I said, like, honestly, it sounds great, but I really can't write movies because I'm too logical. This <laughs> shit would piss me off prolonging it so that we can have a conflict. <laughs> that is so right. We could just not have. We should just write a logical movie and just see how it play out. Damn, you it, know, but that's a good concept. We can go and like make a short film. I feel of, just make a series of short logical films and see how that takes off. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Or like you could just put them in situations where you could be logical, you could be unlogical. Mm-hmm. Like select, logical, select the ending. Yeah, you know, logical. We should just we, let's just have a normal. Co- hey, bro, I, I get it. You mad about? So your we cousin? filming two takes on everything. We filming an illogical yeah. take and then a logical take. Yeah. See what happened to folks when he oppressed Kane? That was illogical. So it almost be like the um, Eminem. Song. Um, yeah, <laughs> so <laughs> Nick says she bought a wax pot. So, <laughs> so what do you be on? For? Come no, on, so 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 re bought a wax pot off of Timu like she does everything else, and she thought that I was gonna be the test dummy. No, no. So she tried to <laughs> now it's like I, I it's it's hard to like really explain it without like like not making it kind of weird, but it is what it. So re is ah okay. Re is a very natural young lady. We'll put it that way. She's very natural. So she didn't. She went full gusto. She didn't like try to like trim first. Oh no. Yeah. Oh no. So it was at a point she had to commit. She picked up a patch of grass. Damn. <laughs> what is look up? Oh. So she like because she never. You know, like oh, she just—it's so a full fro. Oh. Yeah, so she's—I mean, uh, she had a Bruno Mars. Re is very she's she got Speaking her of fifty she, million. She, <laughs> Re got her Erica Badu vibe type shit. Like she just natural. She, Re don't give a fuck about nothing. Like that, that's crazy. She, she cleans herself, but as far as like with actually like grooming hair and like all that shit, she like nigga, you go get what I pull out this month. Like she just don't care, which is weird because it's like bro you a lesbian you Emotional just shoving that in people's face <laughs> like <laughs> shoving that what yeah. the fuck up oh, mm. oh, that's crazy no but uh perfect. but yeah so she didn't you know she didn't trim the hedge before you know she and the blood curdling yell she bro I heard it over the TV the fan and with the front door closed like, and then I wonder what I said. Oh, okay. Did you get up to go like see what was going on? Because it's like just imagine walking up to a grizzly bear and just be like, mm, I'm gonna slap some wax on your back and pull it, <laughs> pull it off <laughs> and run. Oh. <laughs> Speak, speaking of grizzly bears, did you see the video I put in the group? No. Dog, that bear beat the shit out there. <laughs> so it, it's a it's a white man in a karate suit. That's already off putting. He got that gotta be at like the news station or some shit. He in a karate suit and he got this bear on a leash. Mario said, Bet you trim it next time. <laughs> Let you learn. Let learn. Got yeah. a bear on a leash and it's a lady sitting in a that gotta chair. Be you. I think my volume was off. Oh no, it wasn't. No, my volume was off. And he got, and it's a lady sitting in a chair and she looks so innocent and unsuspecting. And the bear just kind of like raise up, look at her. And just throw, just go to town. That's wild. I was like, why would y'all have a bear on a leash? And when you say only white people, you truly only be white people. But yeah, so. That is wild. Yeah, your kid needs some, some help. Yeah. You should help her. And, um, so like but jelly bean is also natural but it's like i thought that because you know how they are with their siblings 
I thought she was trying to follow into her footsteps. And she was like, no, you just never I said no. I said, I showed you what to do. You just, when you didn't keep doing it, I figured that you just didn't want to. And this your body. I'm not, you don't have to shave and do all of that if you don't want to. Right. So, but now I think she's at the point where she's like, no, fuck this shit. I'm out. <laughs> I'm, I'm done. I'm off fuck this track. This shit, but yeah, but Re, <laughs> Re is a completely, like, Re don't give a fuck about nothing like she cleans herself but other than that she like bro you go get this wrinkled shirt you go get this fucking crooked lining in the front and you go get this bush baby ass so <laughs> it is what it is i love my baby because it's like she won't and i'm like bruh because she does she re has a widow's peak but the widow's peak is not what makes it crooked. It's just, it's, ah, it's like that one guy that cut her hair, it's like he didn't do it right or something. And it never really, I don't know. But right. she won't let it get fixed. Because she don't out. care. Because to fix it, you have to probably have to push it back a little No. No, just grow it out. Just let it grow. I mean, the line no, it, you got to push it back to fix it. No, you know, no you but it what out. I'm saying is the way it is not pushed back, like, where if you even it up, it'll be in the right spot. It's like one comes forward a little bit more than it should. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's not like to even it up like the motherfuckers back here and <laughs> even it up, you gotta put it here. No, it's direct the right part is here, but it's like then the other part is like you go like this. It's like that the emoji mouth. <laughs> <laughs> you see, uh it takes for you to really like someone and they complain. I believe that because there are a lot of men with the nappy dugout <laughs> and they be perfectly fine with that. And then when they get to me, I'm like, no. clean it up, clean it up. And there was a guy where I actually, I hadn't fucked him in years and he reached out to me and then he was like, cause he was trying to like link up and stuff. And he sent me a pic and he was like, I remember how you like it. And you could tell it was fresh. So I was like, oh, he, I said, this nigga, this nigga came with the, the, he was ready. I agree with Mario's point. Cause I, like, it's just certain shit that I just can't get Noah to understand. And I feel like coming from me as a brother or like the people in his house, he won't get it. I feel like he won't truly understand what we saying until like he genuinely like a person. Is he getting coochie yet? No. Oh, so do we need to have a conversation with him and just be like, hey, bro? No. Let's I just, I just like I feel like you won't get it until somebody like I, I don't want it to happen, but like sometimes it yeah, until somebody like really hurt your feelings on that kind of shit. Yeah. For you to understand what I've been trying to just get you to like, you don't gotta. You don't got to throw no extra sauce on it if that's not what you into. Like, you don't need to buy a $500 cologne or you don't got to do all of that, but yeah. just get basic on it. Like, I can show you how to get basic. I'll show you the body wash that, you know, you can buy and all that cool shit. But, like, he just, some shit, like, you just don't be into it. And I'm like, bro, that that's one thing you should be. You don't got to be into the extras and the particulars of the situation. But the basics... Mario said, to be honest, my son was not really washing his ass until he started liking girls. I knew he was fucking until he was asking me for cologne. Money. <laughs> See, that's what you know. It's like when folks start trying to get extra on him, like, okay. Mm -hmm. Somebody that told you that, like, this is what they like, and now you're trying to accommodate. And once you start trying to impress women, it'll just become a natural thing. So it's like, nah, kind of like being fresh. And, and, and don't get me wrong, like, I, lo I love the fact that Rhea is so comfortable in her skin. Like, that's her body. She do what the fuck she want to do with it. It's just like, bro, sometimes I be like, nigga, the drain, please, the drain, for the love of the drain. <laughs> but um, <laughs> You being there having a snake to do it, bro? <laughs> That's insane. <laughs> but, uh, no, I got, I got a drain cover for that reason. Because, um, like, Pops was the same way, because, you know, that nigga was born in the fucking 60s and shit. And it's like, <laughs> You come in, you know, I work hard for the money. Mm -hmm. And then it's like, bro, why it, is my shit not draining? And it's because you got your fucking porn pubes all in my goddamn pipes. <laughs> and they thought, they, they kept talking about some, 
no, it's just the plumbing in this house. It's just the plumbing in this house, blah, 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 blah. But guess who didn't have, and I kept fixing it. And I'm like, bro, it's not that. Guess who didn't have that issue with my drain being clogged all the time when that nigga was out of here? I said, I told you, it was them fucking 60s porn pubes in this motherfucker. <laughs> just clogging my shit up. And they just gathering mm. down here. <laughs> they just dancing <laughs> together. <laughs> That being a theme song for the Pops Cubes is crazy. <laughs> yeah, do you know. remember the 21st day of September? They just like this. Man. Call me up. Because it's like there's no reason why this shit is backing it up like this. So I'm like, bro, you got some real core shit that water's not even penetrating through this shit. Like, you don't get your fucking stuff. Still will no see it. So so you want Miles to preach to Unc that he should manscape? But I don't have to do anything now. But when she comes home, hopefully they're both out of my house, so I don't have to worry about it. Where they gonna go? I don't give a fuck. <laughs> they they need you. No, you know what? They actually they got a better stuff. chance of getting low income because he's technically homeless when he get out, and they get you in faster. So yeah, you don't want to live in chef no more. No. If I want to play it, I'll come over. <laughs> you sick of this shit. And, and at this point, I cook myself. So it, I, I've had to do it because he ain't been, hasn't been there. Because it's like before, with him being in the house, he's one of them people who he feels like his food better than everybody. So he want to be the only motherfucker that cook. All right, you got it. That's one less thing that I got to fucking do. But with him being gone now, I have to do the cooking and shit. Just like Easter's coming up. And I fucking hate it because who going to have to fucking cook Easter dinner? This guy, <laughs> and that's and that's if I don't leave everybody and just go to fucking Radizio and tell people that I went. I'm like, hey man, like, I'm, me there. <laughs> I'm like, hey man, I'm going by Kayla House for Easter. I'll see y'all later. I'm right at Radizio, uh, fucking buffet. Easter coming up so fucking fast too. Yeah, especially because it's the end of this month. I know. I was looking at this guy. I was like, oh, what the fuck? Then I looked at the sale paper. I'm like, oh, we finna get it cracking in here. I want no parts of this. Yeah, but I, you know, it, oh, and, and, and it's crazy because when you look at like a lot of kids, like they hygiene the ass, Facts. and it, and it and it don't be the, like a lot of the parents be really trying to make, and they just be like, yeah, I forgo washing my ass, it's cool, and they just go about their fucking right. business because I really be feeling so sorry for a lot of my friends that have boys because the stories that right. I hear, dog, I just <laughs> like, yeah, it was right. bad until like until they start liking girls and stuff, it's bad. I heard, and I'm and my son yeah. played football, and it was like, and, and, <laughs> and, and, but they said that like once you know, girls and shit, and they trying to pay attention, shit niggas don't want to be musty no more. Exactly. Now. The the upstairs of my house has three distinct smells. <laughs> it really do. Like if you walk in my room, it smells like weed. My little brother room, ass funk paradise. <laughs> and when my room smell like women and shit, but I was like, this is weed funk. Paradise, it's crazy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm like, I'm glad. Like at first, I used to hate being next to the bathroom, but like, folks, that shit wild over there. So you have all that animal kingdom there, mother. <laughs> Mario said, I remember one of the first complaints the homies brought up was the chick with the smelly feet. My guy was offended. Don't be her. <laughs> yeah, Monte had a sh her. She was smelling like Fritos. Ew. Yeah, and that was like a a big thing. Coming to a nigga house and your hygiene not on point is crazy. Right. Because you know you're going over there. And you know why you're here. Mm -hmm. So uh, eventually, you know what you came here for. eventually at some point, you're going to remove all of your clothes. <laughs> and if something don't hit right, crazy. And, and I guess my thing is this, right? So say it was a whim thing, like, you know, y'all were having a good time and y'all you end up at the script. And you're like, dang. I didn't hit the pitch today or, you know, I just, I didn't think I was going to be here. So maybe I didn't do a refresher. God damn. I knew I got this hole in my sock and my shit stank. Like at some point, bro, fake the bubble goods. I would rather, if I was a guy, I would much rather a bitch be like, can you please take me home? My stomach hurt. And I'm like, all right, I don't want this bitch shit in my house. And I'll take you home versus you actually disrobing. And I have there. something hit my nose to the point <laughs> where I don't even know if I can get an erection anymore. Mm -hmm. Not just with you, just period. Right. Like In every life. time, every like life, every, life every is time, over. Every time I look at a bitch and she goes to slide her panties down, I'm traumatized because I'm like, bro, what if it's that that smell again? Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. When no funk is the you know thing. It's in a poem. A chick should never be musty. Monte attracts musty chicks. Not dating. It's just he, no, he you, always know him. You, you, I've cleared it up. It's not that he why, date him. Why you <laughs> because Monte always know the chicks that be musty. Oh, shit. Like. Can I tag him in the comments? It don't work. Maybe it'll work here. But um, yeah, that that don't bro, do not no, summon. I was, gonna say, I was like, I'm I'm about to be running away in a moment. <laughs> shit, me too. <laughs> he always know musty people. It's crazy. <laughs> Maybe they're not musty, they just like to dance. We can dance if you want to. You can leave your kids behind. It don't just be the kids. Because they though. don't dance, and if they don't, we had dance a musty Sunday, bartender. No friends on my. That's crazy. She wasn't even dancing, bro. She was just making. Hey man, drinks. it's hard work slinging drinks, bro. You back there with ice. You can keep you yourself cool. <laughs> you want to jump in ice? <laughs> you can keep yourself cool. Now nah, you you ain't never smoked must when it's cold. It might that might be worse than when it's warm. It is because it's like, how did we get here? But then it's like, okay, was it just like, you know, you had on too many layers? <laughs> and then it's like, it just kind of like. get trapped in one of the layers or something? Or? When the cool breeze hit Having, it. having insulated must is insane. <laughs> <laughs> Insul that's, that's, insulated must is crazy. That's the kind of must that like when you take your jacket off, you can smell how funky you are on your jacket. Listen, I have had some days where. I've gotten out of the shower rushing and I forgot to put deodorant on after. And it's like, we call it the musty tingle. Mm -hmm. It's like a pre-warning. Right. That shit finna like, go bad. That shit finna yeah. go bad. It, 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 it's like, ooh, I gotta go to like ooh, it's I like a go to it's like a, my it's break. like the smoke detector <laughs> for your armpit. Mm -hmm. So it's like I have had this one. I'm like, bro, I'm gonna have to stop at the Walgreens or something. Then I start like I would have to keep an extra one in the car mm -hmm. just in case because yeah. I'm like, some days I be running, I forget. Because for most women, it might not be an issue because they carry purses. So they have shit like that in their purse. Right. I, as addressed earlier, am not your traditional feminine woman. So I do not carry purses. I got this big ass wallet. I'm a wallet girl. I'm, I'm not a purse girly. So I'm sitting here and you know what you got to do? You have to drive with the window down. And not only do you have to drive with your window down, you have your arm up in the window because you're trying to catch as much as a breeze so that nothing gets too overheated under there mm -hmm. until you make it to your destination. Mm -hmm. So if you ever see me driving and my arm is like this, mm -hmm. there may be a chance that I forgot to put on deodorant when I got out the shower and I am trying to get to a store immediately. <laughs> 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 you manly. I, you know what? I do have a lot of those traits. Yes. <laughs> You're like, I have them. Too. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I do. Actually, I, ju I just posted uh, in a group about that. Um, I said, who stop talking? I can't stop laughing. Don't act like you ain't never had the pre-musty tingle, man. Right. I think everybody had we the pre-musty tingle. Because that's, that's what the part that reminds me. <laughs> Drop top underarms is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. So I, I have definitely, I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> and I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I drive a little bit faster. <laughs> trying to get more wind. <laughs> to try to get more of a breeze. Get, get the wind coming through. <laughs> so I might be doing 50 and a 30 trying try to cool shit down a little bit. <laughs> Yo, I'm not mad at niggas who didn't want to participate in gym class either. Like, <laughs> just like, as an adult now, like, you take a shower in the morning before school. Especially when, like, you got gym first, period, bro. Yeah, you like, sweaty man. all day. Why like, you want me to smell like swamp ass after third period? And like, then they didn't look at that as an excuse because they're like, well, we got showers here. But I was like, nigga, I don't want to. You know what's crazy to you me? You only got five minutes. How you going to take a shower five saying, minutes? I can't even get a good lather in five minutes right. with the gym shorts on. <laughs> like, what we doing? Right. But you have to look at, I think that that, like, I think that concept was brought up by white people who are not used to washing their legs. They're not used to mm -hmm. wash rags and they don't fully lather everything anyway. Right. Mm -hmm. But, uh, that, was, that oh, shit was funny. Like, they was like, they was like, like, you don't. And it's like, what about seven people on the other side? Like, we almost feel like we don't. We bad because we wash our legs. Because she was just like, really? Like, the legs? She's like, but I shave. <laughs> right, she like, like shave my legs. I'm like, the fuck do that mean? Wow. <laughs> Listen, 
He was like, you don't use like a washcloth, a, a loofah. <laughs> like, she said the soap hits it. Like, because we got the little, the little African, uh, what's mm-hmm. the name joints? And it, the exfoliating. And it, it's so annoying because it's like, thank God, um, because I, I haven't given y'all an update on Jelly Bean. Like, Jelly Bean is doing great. She is, we're looking, hopefully by the end of this week, she won't need her cane anymore. Aww. Um, So, she still has to like her shower chair and shit because her balance is still off. Yeah. But she was able to wash herself. Now I didn't have to do anything because Lord knows I was so tired of having to blood fo- blood butt floss this child. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. And you see, because it's like at home it's easier because we got like I said, the, so I can just you know. Mm-hmm. But when we were actually in the hospital. And have like having to go hand between cheek and your kid, like it's like that's violating. It's so uncomfortable, <laughs> and it's not uncomfortable as a parent because I'm you like it's you came out with me wiping your ass. But it's like I know my baby's just in here like. Dude, this is how did I get here? Dude, like, right. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, I'm 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 really really happy. Like she is doing really good. Um, she just walked. Um, just over half a mile on the treadmill. Mm. Um, so they try to, you know, push her a little bit more each day, but her her progress is amazing. But she still doesn't know that we're going to wrestling on Friday. Cause I told her that because remember when they were here last year, remember the tickets went on sale that day. Um, or did you not see that because you had left already? I saw it. Yeah. But they usually do that anyway when they know they're coming back. So I told her, I'm like, well, I you was messed up. So I bought my ticket that day. I didn't think you was, you know, whatever. I'm like, well, tell you what. I'm like, since you, you know, at the point, and I know you, like, miss riding around in the car and stuff, when Granny dropped me off, you can ride with her, and then I'll just give her money to take you to Chiba Hut, because I know you've been wanting a Chiba Hut. She was like, she was like, can I get the big one? I was like, you, I was like, you can even get little pretzel nuggets and some Kool-Aid. You can get whatever you want. She was like, all right, cool. So, yeah, yeah. little kids. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yep. Um, glove box deodorant. I got something for that. I got caught musty in class once and was willing to kill everybody in that classroom. <laughs> <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> yeah, that's a whole situation. Not even just school, even as adults. You get caught musty one time. That's it never it. leaves your resp- uh, reputation. Now, yep. all of a sudden, like yeah, when you were described, dude. Mimi, which the musty one? Yep. Yo, I was musty. Again, it's a lot of shit that you can put on my jacket. Do not want that one there. No. I never want a motherfucker to be like, hey, do you know why? The musty one? Yeah. The with fat, the, with the fat nigga with the dreads? Cool. <laughs> don't say fat musty nigga with the dreads. Not cool. I don't want to be that guy. The funky one? Yo, see, that's irrational. Funk, funky one? <laughs> funky hey, one? let me tell you something. One is not... Funky one is crazy. One is not scared <laughs> of a lot of things, but I'll tell you the top three. <laughs> Number one, snakes. Facts. Me too. Number two, being in the group chat is the creepy nigga. Number three, <laughs> being identified as <laughs> the, the funky fat. nigga. <laughs> the fat funky <laughs> nigga. Some, those are those are the three fears. So shit got because again, like you just said, like that shit never. I don't care how cool you is or how cool you think you is or how fresh you are the next six times I meet you. <laughs> that one encounter. That's all too. Funky nigga. Mm-hmm. Let me tell you something. And then them niggas always want to hug you. Where my hug at now, bro? You musty. Stop giving out hugs. Because now when she come hug me, I'm going to think that she musty. Because she was uh, hugging on you and you was musty. You know how many false musty people might have been out here in life? False musty. <laughs> Like, imagine being accused of being musty because you hugged a musty nigga and it wasn't you. Five foot nope. All the time it wasn't even her. Mm-hmm. It was the popcorn and foot smelling ass nigga she was hugging before she got to you. Cause I'm, and a lot of people like to lie because, you know, they are afraid of judgment or like whatever, like I ain't never been musty. I've definitely been caught slipping before. Yeah. And I was I like, yeah, I've definitely been caught slipping before. And I was like, I'm going home. 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Do not pass go. Do not clench. I, 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 I am going on. I, I will try this later. Mm-hmm. Like, because it, it was one, because like I said, like rushing in the morning. So now it's like I have shit lined up. Right, me too. So now I don't forget steps because it's like I have everything like ready to go like when i get out so everything is like in one little area but i have definitely had those points where it's like rushing then when you get out the shower and shit you're drying off getting dressed and trying to push it on and it's like you don't um but for me like i wouldn't put deodorant on right away because during that period of time it was like you know before we got like our invisible solid mm-hmm. joint and shit you didn't want to get that shit like on your clothes right. and like on your bra and shit so that was my last step because I would have to do the, you know, you pull your shit all the way out mm-hmm. and, and then, then and then, then pull down. Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> so I didn't put no, and I'm like, and I was like, bro, my armpits is itching. I already know what's next. And then it's like, it's fucked up because you get into that point where it's like, no sudden movement. Cause you don't want to agitate nothing. Mm-hmm. You, you don't you don't want to you don't want to get your body temperature up. Mm-hmm. And then it's like so now you're trying not to freak out about it because you're like, damn man, my anxiety go raise my body temperature. I gotta you know how the ninjas and shit. Right. They just <laughs> they come, they heart beating all that shit. But nope, I went. I was like, I said no, nah, bro. I said that's me. I gotta leave. <laughs> nope. Wow. Nope. I went home. Abs, abs, the fucking Lulu, you know, immediately in the shower because I'm like, I will never that no, like you said, you don't want that on your fucking jacket. You don't. You don't want it on your jacket. And then I'm that person that people always want to come hug and shit. Yeah. Hey, y'all know me need as much as nope. Yeah, I feel like niggas. I feel like niggas <laughs> wouldn't tell you though. <laughs> Let me see. Uh, Mario said, "Bad breath will make you want to body somebody." I keep Al toys for this exact reason. I have known some Henny and Newport homies who have got asked to go brush their teeth in front of women. I would die. <laughs> uh, chick be trying to dish you, and those are the go-to little dick and funky pits or poor hygiene. Oh yeah, they always posting the niggas' draws. I'm like, bitch, you knew them draws was crunchy beforehand. That's why you kept right. getting BB. Now I can see if like you discovered. That the drawers was crunchy, and that's why you broke up with him. Mm-hmm. Cause you like, I've never seen this nigga like take his drawers off type shit. Mm-hmm. And then one day, you know, y'all watching Netflix, and you kind of trip and look down at me like, and then you break up with him. I get it. But if you knew that bro wasn't, you know, wiping right the entire time, it's, it's kind of. <laughs> Because the, sm- the smell of butt is very strong, right? So there was at some point, especially because got a real yeah, <laughs> and and you know what's crazy about it? It's like that's why people for say you men, should smell yourself strong before they smell you. I don't. Rita said shit definitely don't leave. Know someone from middle school and folks still call him little musty dude. Yeah. <laughs> We um there oh, are wow. a couple I actually I just I just talked to them um in one of my group chats and I was like, dude, this guy just commented on something and all I remember is how much him and his sister smell like piss when we were in school. And and it wasn't like just like, you know, a small accident piss. Like it was like Harlem project hallway piss smell. Like I've never even been to Harlem, but I got to just sit, just embedded in my thoughts. That's that's fucked up for you to put that on Harlem's jacket like that. <laughs> I don't, I don't think, I don't think him. Cam or Mace would appreciate that. Mm-hmm. I'm mad you did that. That's crazy. I don't give a fuck. You just think Harlem smell like piss? No, just certain project hallways. <laughs> uh, as fat niggas, we are very conscious of smells. Big musty grizzly bear nigga was starting off the occasion. <laughs> No, nah, but I, t- I told y'all that fat nigga that made me grab his wee wee in the coat room smell like butt. So yeah, it was like you out here smelling like moist hot dogs. Just because I remember because my grandpa, so my grandpa used to eat whole cold hot dogs out the pack. And he wouldn't boil them. He would just get cold yeah, hot dogs. You open up a pack of hot dogs and just eat how it smells. Oh, when oh, you open it, oh I'm I'm sorry, wieners, because you know I got that that water in there, the <laughs> hot dog water that's in the pack with it. 
So it was the hot dog water that you was um dealing with. Yeah, that's what, <laughs> see, as an adult, I understand all that shit from a kid. Like when motherfuckers say you smell like hot dog water, this is it. Or when the motherfucker say you smell like outside, I know what outside smell like. <laughs> yeah, because re come like if re come in and shit. And she would not like at the parking lot. I'm like, bro, you smell so much like outside. Especially now because I'm allergic to outside. I really know what death smell like and shit. <laughs> you can smell death around the corner. <laughs> <laughs> Mario said the PP girl from elementary turned out to be fine as fuck now. Got two dope boy baby daddies. I got stories. Hold on, y'all, because I don't re- I don't remember what this video is. I gotta see which one this so, is. Oh, okay. I know what that is. So, um, we're probably gonna close the show out with white women tears and how they really be lying. Like this shit is wild. I saw this on Twitter. Um, actually, I'm I'm gonna talk about this one Twitter story first. I don't know if anybody saw this, but there was um a woman who was unalive during a fight with her daughters. Um, there was a fight going on, and she had a gun, and I guess somebody else tried to jump in on her daughter and like she grabbed him or something and the guy came and like a guy killed her shot her her daughter picks up the gun and get to like you know just dumping at everybody but the woman ended up dying it is very tragic that this woman lost her life but this entire time i'm watching her with this fucking gun in her hand i was always taught and i can't even have fucking guns and i was still taught do not pull a gun unless you intend to use it so I feel like she had it out for, you know, intimidation purposes, and that shit did not go her fucking way. So let this be a lesson to you. If you do not want pistols in play, then you should probably keep that motherfucker tucked unless you were planning on peeling a nigga's cat back. So R.I.P. to her, but let this be a lesson to the rest of you. So she pulled out a gun in the middle of a fight. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? I like to thank everybody for coming out for this episode of Hostly Awkward. This has been a great episode. The comments were on fire tonight. I appreciate everybody. Please close the show and your ass. <laughs> Both of them. Please. Because what the fuck, fam? Why is it that? Like, why was it so long? Because <laughs> I've been holding it the whole show. When Serena left, I finally let it out. I didn't want to do that to her. <laughs> I, I ain't care about her hearing it, but I just knew it had been brewing. That shit probably got a smell to it. Um. Yeah. <laughs> Please tell me, Mimi just dropped ass. Yes, fam. Now I dropped ass and testing and everything that come along with it. Why a child of colon in this chair. But yeah, you say if you pull it, shoot it. But yeah, so um here is this video. He says, uh, ooh, my favorite white women tears are everything. Oh wait, let me go. Bye. Play that back and see if they can hear that on the mic. Because <laughs> when me adjusting the volume, I don't know if it picked it up or not. <laughs> Mario, did you actually hear that? I bet you did. Hold on. Immediately. So over the past weekend, there was a viral social media post about an alleged incident at Hubbard Inn. Oh, see, he said you can't hear it. Yay. Wait, you can't hear the video? Ooh. I heard that shit. That's what I'm saying, see? Ah! That was crazy. Stop hitting the mic. 
stop bumping the table. Okay, let's start this up. See if we can hear now. So they are grabbing us immediately. So the video went viral on TikTok, receiving thousands of views, shares, and comments, resulting in damages to the business, staff, and reputation. You missed it, Juan Pooted. it. Why the fuck would you lie on me like that? You will see the video post allegations alongside real surveillance footage of the alleged incident. So they are grabbing us immediately. They don't even get us a chance to walk out on our own. Oh, wait. <laughs> that was wild. Okay, so this is the video of them being calmly walked out. As you see, she said that they were being grabbed on and pulled from the very beginning. I'm immediately grabbed by this man, and he's grabbing my arm. He's pushing me. He's manhandling me, and... What is going on? What is the issue here? Why are you why is kicking us out? Why are you screaming at us? Um, and also, why are you grabbing me and manhandling me and dragging me, using my bag to pull me out? At all. Now this is the close up. I'm just pushed down. He sends me flying down the staircase hysterical at this point i think i start to kind of yell scream back at him kind of push back at him and he takes me a second time and shows me again and sends me flying down the rest of the staircase Duh. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, white women will lie about anything <laughs> do they know we can see them right like do you know if there's footage <laughs> The only thing I saw like, bro, they he on, in, like right. He tapped on her to tell her to go the right direction. <laughs> she was not thrown, and then she said she was, was thrown down two sets of stairs. Why? Because it was in your head. That you lied. Much it escalated. So now you got all these people leaving negative reviews and threatening them and shit because this bitch lied. Talking about she got tossed down two flights of fucking stairs and manhandled <laughs> to be escorted from the premises. Uh, she canceled herself. You said a lie, a whole lie. These white hoes are tied pollicle. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, he wrote it twice? Yes. <laughs> he just had oh, let you oh, know. Oh, yeah. He had to change it because right. he didn't want to get suspended. Y'all still live from in the Matrix. No, this is on brand for us. We're about to wrap up in a minute. We used to be just under three hours or right at the point. Um, and we'll mess up someone's whole life. It's unnecessary and very common. Absolutely. But. You know, I was invested. Like when I saw it, I was like, "Damn, what happened to her?" Like, cause they had the sad music and shit, and I'm thinking, like, you know, something like really happened to her. No, absolutely. And then I guess I said, "Absolutely nothing." Mm -hmm. Nothing happened. She lied. She lied. She cheated. She steals. She's a lie. This is a whole bitch. lie. <laughs> so yeah, um, that just blew me, cause now like you got a business that, and once shit kind of snowballs it'd be mm -hmm. hard to take it back because like i said now you got all these people that didn't left like negative reviews and shit and people will do that like they hear something from somebody else don't know what's going on and they automatically go leaving negative reviews on like mm -hmm. businesses you know pages and shit like that yelp reviews and shit like shit is hard out here in fucking social media holy walnuts batman mm -hmm. yep that's our cue when when we see this nigga come back, that's how we know it's time to leave. Right. <laughs> yep. uh, <laughs> and she won't be charged for lying. Right. Right. For something. Yeah, because she fucking sucked. Is this the um 
created a national firestorm. Desiree oh, yeah. Jennings is the pretty ambassador for the Washington Redskins cheerleading squad. Since we talk about white women, she women developed line. a rare neurological I'm disorder okay. called dystonia after receiving a seasonal flu shot, causing dramatic spasms and slurred speech. I used to be able to go sideways, but nothing goes now too. So you used to be able to go sideways. Yeah. Over, Desiree and her husband told me they worried they'd never find a cure. But look at Desiree now. We found her walking normally, playing with her dogs, going shopping, even getting behind the wheel of a car and driving. Hard to believe the woman we've been discreetly observing over the last few weeks is the same woman we met during the hike. <laughs> yeah. Thinking, so we wanted to ask her about her remarkable improvement. We have not been returning our phone calls. Oh, I'm sorry. What's going on? It looks like you've made a complete recovery. Uh, well, I wouldn't say complete recovery. I still have a lot of cognitive. Cogn Bro. <laughs> gonna ride since, that I out. mean, since since we was on the topic ride of the white women out. just lying about shit. I want to say this with uh, all due respect. That's where I want to start. You ain't wrong, bro. Mario said that's why I keep a witness around white women. Yeah, they diabolical as a bitch. But to, to all the people who like to lie and scam and cheat, ju just know y'all ain't got shit on Stevie Wonder. Just saying. Bro, he fell. <laughs> he gotta play the part. He can't just he can't just automatically see where he's going. First of all, he's gonna die with the lie. Just, okay. Stevie is blind, bro. To what degree? Like Daredevil. <laughs> I like to thank everybody for coming to this episode. Hopefully, <laughs> awkward. Yes, we are. It man. has been a great show. Yes, we have man. had so much fun. Yes, I, we have enjoyed. It's it. a lot of shit we do on this podcast that's gonna get us a trip to hell. But did that ending right there? <laughs> that did it. Yep. I, I'm sorry, I brought go. that up. I'm right. sorry. Right. I didn't mean for any of that to go that way. So, um, if you weren't able to tune in for the full <laughs> live, you catch the replay on Monday. Or listen to the audio episode when it drops on Tuesday at 10 a.m. on all your favorite streaming platforms. That nigga said, like that devil. <laughs> Until when next time, we got a hoe. <laughs> and stream, and stream. Yeah.